Yo, what's happening? We back. Surprise. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare y'all, but we back. <laughs> TDA watch party. We back for this season opener. Bama versus Utah State football is back. Bama is back. We got a lot of surprises and stuff that we might see tonight. Um, a lot of stuff, fresh stuff that we're looking forward to. We got to look at these receivers, running backs. Everything is kind of, kind of like on a new leaf, and we're going to see what's going on. We already know what Bryce Young is about, but we got to see these other positions, see if they go do what they're going to do. We got Justin Smith here. What's going on, Justin? Doing good, John. Always excited to be back for the watch party. Huge success last year, so we knew we had to bring it back um, on the watch party. We break down, watch the game with you guys, give our live analysis, give you guys some updates as we are credential media as most of you guys know here at Touchdown Alabama. So we have a lot of ourselves actually at the game, in the stadium, have guys on the field and in the press box with Stephen M. Smith and Pat Dodd at the game. So be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, subscribers, hit the notification bell, be notified when we drop content on our YouTube channel. I know a lot of Alabama fans are excited for this matchup. Like you said, John, a lot of things are new um, in yep. this, um, with this team, and we see them running on the field at the moment right now. They look Alabama's coming excited. Out they look right juiced now. up. Yeah, this stadium is packed out. Um, we just op uploaded a short on the channel showing the stadium if you um, want to check that out. But the um, team just ran out here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. The game is about to kick off. Let me get some, uh, some shout outs going on. We got James Knox in here. What's going on, James? Naomi's in here. What's going on? Michael Burns is in here. Josh Upton. Thunderstruck is in here. Monterius Clay is in here. Easy Money's in here. Gelato was in here. Beer Cans and Baddies is in here. Gonna strike up that controversy. <laughs> we got A. Howell in here. High Power TV. What's going on? Sully462 is in here. Terry Wright is in here. 6-0 is in here. Michael Burns. What's going on? We got Cam Bolts. Who else we got? We got Tanner Andrews is in here. Our own Steven Smith is checking in here. Tay Tay C, what's going on? Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all leave a comment if you want a shout out. Jay Smith is in here. Breely Williams has checked in here. Trey Harper has checked in here. What's going on with y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in. Mickey's in here. Jordan Mora is in here. D Pickett is in here. Chris Solo has checked in. We got Who That For Life. Chris is in here. He said Huffman Trash, man. That's my alma mater, man. You can't be talking about Huffman, <laughs> man. Vikings all day. Curtis Jennings in here. What's going on? Waylon is in here. The godfather of the SEC. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Ready for this game to kick off. And Justin, what do you... What are you most uh, excited to see or interested in seeing? I think like I think, and we got some updates too. Yeah, I think um, basically what you said earlier because everything is so fresh, a lot of new faces, especially on the offensive side of football. The defense is a veteran defense. We are expecting it to be a great Alabama defense. So if you are going to be a great Alabama defense, you have to make a statement against Utah State. Utah State should struggle a lot if you are indeed a great defense. So we'll see if the defense answers the bell and show early that they are one of the better defenses um the Alabama has had in recent history but I'm really interested in seeing these new faces on the offensive side of football all of those new wide receivers Jermaine Burton fresh and Holden has some experience but he's still relatively new um Kobe Prentice fresh out of high school um about to play a college football game looks as most likely he will get the first snaps but going back to like you said also we have some updates and I think that goes sort of with Kobe Prentice I'm starting because we just saw Cameron Latou I think Cameron Latou took his pads off I think we just saw Cameron Latou on TV flash by with no pads on. The update yeah, was yeah. that he was looking good um, in warm-ups that he possibly could play, but I think I saw him flash on a TV um, a couple of seconds ago with no pads on. But other guys who don't have pads on, who are actually in boots, wide receivers, JoJo Earl and Tyler Harrell. Of course, Harrell is a transfer from Louisville. He's in a boot tonight, so it looks as if he's injured. We don't know how long he will be out. And we all have known JoJo Earl was going to be out, so he's walking around in a boot. So we'll see if Cameron Latou actually get to play. Utah State is getting the ball first. Will Rocket is set to kick the game it off. Has kicked off. We're about to do this kickoff. Let's get it. Season opener. Yeah, we're officially underway. Will Rocket's first kick of the season goes into the end zone for a touchback. Utah State will take over. So we Let's get to see get that it. defense early. I know, like I said earlier, if you got a great defense, 
And Tyler Kicks. Harrell Kroger is here. not playing in this game. You yeah. mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler oh, Harrell. Yeah, Tyler Harrell, JoJo Earl. They both have boots on at the game. And and like I said a couple um seconds ago, Cameron Latou. According yeah, to Cameron Steven, Latou. he was looking good working out um at the beginning of the game. I saw a glimpse of him, like a millisecond probably. It looked as if he took his pads off, but it, it might not have been him. I might have gotten confused with somebody. So we'll see if he actually gets to play. And we should see Robbie Oots out there catching some uh some balls now. Yeah. And okay. Marlon the Black too. We should see some more Marlon the Black out there. We got Utah snapping the ball off here. Gonna drop back, gonna throw the football. Terry on Arnold. Terry on Arnold with he some get, great coverage. He got caught on. Utah State. Oh, he caught it. Why didn't he get his head around? I thought he like, was out. Yeah, he caught it. He got one foot in bounds. A, a fantastic catch made catch. by Utah State on the first plate. Dallas Turner created some good pressure, but Terry Arnold did not get his head yeah. around. Now, Arnold was there. He <laughs> just <laughs> didn't get his head around. Fumble. Utah State fumbled there fumble. on the second play. Utah but, State recovered it quickly. Yeah, but going back to that first play, it's so simple. Just get your head around. It's showing the replay right now. See, Dallas Turner. Well, that's the fumble. So I'm going to show a replay of that fantastic catch. But Terry Arnold just has to get his head around. But Utah yeah. State has second down now after picking up the first down. So, yeah, we got Terry Arnold, freshman starting. Yeah, he started. He's taking the first snaps at cornerback. Him and Kool-Aid McKinstry. Terry Arnold got targeted on the first play of the game. And the guy caught it on the sideline. If he got it, if he, he was there. Come. Great position and coverage. Simply get your head around. Yeah, Eli Ricks won't be playing in this game either, I'm pretty sure. We'll try to run it. Utah State Will Anderson meets him at the line of scrimmage. Turner took him down. Yeah, tackled Anderson by Dallas the Turner. They couldn't get through. Yeah, they only got about two or three yards there. Solid start for the Crimson Tides. Defensive front, third and 11 early for Utah State. Yeah, who that we ahead now? Yo, we see, it's a new year. <laughs> uh, we see Malachi Moore on the field early. No, he was not listed among the first starters, but he was his backup. But he's on the field in third and long. Yeah, Malachi is back. Let's see. I what spell he does. Will Anderson and Dallas Turner. Are they, Utah State actually ran the ball and get stopped. Tried to run again, got stopped by Justin the Borg being Byron Young, making it very difficult to run up the middle. Of course, it's just one drive. Solid defense so far. Yeah, defense is, is solid. Especially up um, front. I wouldn't try to run on Bama if I was yeah, Utah yeah. State. Maybe they're yeah. just trying it out. Yeah. Yeah, Alabama's front seven looks looks strong on that particular play. Forcing Utah State to punt. McKinstry punt is here. back deep to return. Kool-Aid McKinstry. Kool-Aid McKinstry. Kicked out of bounds. Yes, now we get to so see we've Alabama's seen, we've seen Kool-Aid on punt return. Yeah, so we get to see Bryce Young take the field. Like you said earlier, John, Robbie Oops starting at tight end for Alabama. Treshawn Holden at wide receiver. Jameer Gibbs in the backfield. Jermaine Burton I'm trying to see if Kobe Prentice is on the field for this first snap. He's the, he's, the, uh, he's the guy I didn't see. Yeah, Kobe Prentice is on the field. Him and Jermaine Burton are lined up out to Kobe the right Prentice. at the bottom of the screen. So we've seen uh, two freshmen already starting. See, Jameer Gibbs gets the first carry. Jameer Gibbs gonna grind it out for about two yeah, yards. A short run. Two yards. Tyler Steen is out there on that O line. Mendalcore look oh. like he got bigger, man. We yeah, I think, yeah. at center. I think Emil Ikior is not playing tonight. Kobe Prentice catches the football. Kobe Prentice with his picks first, up about first five. College career game catch. Yeah, it's a flag. May get took back. It's a flag. Maybe a, a um face mask. I think it's a face mask. Kobe Prentice looks looks a little bit bigger than he was in high school. Yeah. Looks a little bit more filled out. With the old school number 80. Yeah, Prentice got face masked on that play. But Prentice pulls in his first college reception for about six yards. I appreciate y'all tuning in. TDA Watch Party. Brent LeClaire. 
retracted his message, but welcome to the chat. We got Jant Sports in here. What's going on? Roll Tide and Rise first, Up is in here. First and 10 for Alabama. Bryce Young's on the drop back, load up. Bryce Young Pressure coming. Elusive. He Pressure. throws it. What a play by Bryce Young Hitting throws Trey the pass Holden. to Trayshawn Holden under pressure. Trey what Sean a Holden play. It was a great throw, a great catch. The, that's what we expect from Bryce down. Young now. It's, it's, yeah. it's kind of normal now. He's getting Keep a pass. guys yeah. downfield. Great pass in motion. Last second decision pass. Kobe Prentice get involved, gets involved again. Kobe on Prentice like a stop screen early. route, but it, Utah State made the stop pretty quickly. Robbie Oops was blocking, but the guy basically made the tackle on the ground. Looks as if they want to get Kobe Prentice, just give him the ball in space. When you got 4-3 yeah. speed, that is what you do. Yeah, they're hitting Kobe Prentice. No Jermaine, uh, I'm just, no, uh. So now we, it's a, Robbie Oops still at tight end. So he gets um, motion a lot. Yeah, no Jermaine Second Burton and 13. Yet. And drop back. Give it to Jameer Gibbs. Catching ball out of the backfield. Give it to him in space. Four to five yards Jameer on Gibbs that play. Nice run. I think I think that is something we are going to see a lot out of Jameer Gibbs. Letting him catch, catch the football yeah. out of the backfield. Yeah, he's, he should be catching a lot. That's what Steven was saying that um, Saban is trying to recruit more running backs that can catch catch the ball. That's offside, why? <laughs> Yo, offsides. It was third and Utah nine. State. Utah State jumps offsides. Referee's mic isn't on. Gonna move it up five yards. A third and nine turns into a third and four. You got a little too antsy. But Jameer Gibbs is not in the game on third down. Jace McClellan is in the backfield at running back. The same wide receivers who started. Uh, actually, Jameer Gibbs got back in the game. He was he was out the game at first, but he's actually in the game on third and three. Who was it? Jameer Gibbs. Oh, okay. Alabama's first third down of the season. Uh, I think he was trying to hit Jermaine Burton. I think he's just trying to get the ball out. He got smacked. <laughs> Bryce Young got smacked. Utah State had a free rusher coming off the edge. No one blocked him. I'm not sure what was the blocking hurt? assignment was. Nah, he it was. Know. It came from Steen, but I don't think Steen was. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah. That, right. that really was Bryce Young's fault. He didn't read the blitz. The blitz actually came from a defensive back. He didn't pick up that the defensive back was blitzing, drop back. And got hit, smacked. <laughs> Wheel Rockers yeah, will Utah come State, on man, and attack the field goal. Blitzing. Riker with what the field a great goal. kick by Wheel Rocker. Alabama 3 0. 3 zip, Bama. Riker with the field goal. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Fat Mac 06 was going on. T1J is up in here. What's going on? Coach Smook is up in here. What's going on? Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But if you're chatting, you're subscribed. Because I got we got the subscriber only chat in here. Just hit the subscribe button. It's real simple. Just a little click. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but on the first two offensive and defensive drives, like I said, on defense, I feel the front seven played solid. Of course, that's just one drive, but Utah State was, was not definitely not able to run the football. Will Anderson looks as if he was rushing from the interior a couple of times. Secondary look, can't say he looked great because they were, they did get a ball caught on them on the sideline with Terry on, on a great coverage, but did not get his head turned around. In my opinion, it's so, yeah. so important to just get your head around. It could yeah. turn a um, completion into a pass deflection really simply. So, so I think the defense looks solid so far. Offense, trying to, like I said, I think that, like we said, it is a fresh group of guys. I think they definitely have to work yeah. some think, things out. Yeah, it looks like stuff is warming up. Things are gelling together. That's why you can't take any team lightly. Um, people just talking about Utah State like they're trash or something. I mean, it's still – a good football team so you can't just come in there like you're just gonna whoop somebody yeah and in the offense i think 
it is also important to remember he did he did win the Heisman Trophy last year, had a great season last year. But Bryce Young's still a growing player too. He's this is third yeah. um second year as a starting quarterback, this is third year as a college football quarterback. On that last drive, Crimson Tide's drive stalled out because he did not adjust his protection, did not read that that defensive back was coming in on a blitz, and that guy basically got a free shot on him and made him pay for it. He got mm-hmm. smacked pretty good. And he got new receivers he's working with, too. But we know the, the talent is there. We'll see how everything continues to develop throughout the game. Hey, Howell. I shot you out, right? Patty YJ Simpson. Welcome to the chat. Simona's in here. Welcome to the chat. DJ German, what's going on? Appreciate y'all tuning in. T Day Watch Party. We also have a post game show right after the game with former Alabama wide receiver, BCS national champion Mike McCoy, and Justin Riley, host of the Bama Standard. So make sure uh, after the game, make sure y'all stay tuned. And we'll have that post-game show for you, breaking down the game, what's going on. Mike McCoy gives it to you straight and raw, so uh, he'll be really entertaining and give some really good analysis on the game. So right after the game, post-game show, right here, Touchdown Alabama. You guys will have an opportunity to call into the post-game show also. Oh, yeah, it's a call-in show. Express your thoughts. Anything you want to say, you can call in. Yeah, but Utah State will take over for their second offensive possession of the football game. You get to see Alabama's defense for a second time. See what adjustments they were able to make after seeing Utah State on one drive. It looks as if the Aggies are going to be a little bit balanced tonight. They have a veteran quarterback, I feel, in Bonner. Bonner. Yeah, Utah State was 11-3 last year. Really good record. First and 10 for the Aggies. Got some communication going on on the field. Jalen Moody next to Henry Toto. Will Anderson is ready. Utah State is going to take They're it still, off. Utah State is still trying to run up yeah, the middle. That, I don't understand. Yeah, they're struggling running it up the middle. And two guys who are stepping up Boygby. are those two senior interior defense alignment, Justin and Boygby. And Byron Young has made plays in the interior so far. I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of him. Boygby so far, strong, big body, offensive lineman, great length. Basically, basically stood the offensive lineman up. There's no running lane for the running back. So I like what I'm seeing from Justin and Boygby. Helms was up there too. Bonner's going to drop back. Dallas Turner with the pressure and DeMarco Helms DeMarco with Helms. the knockout. Knocking the ball out. It was a... A pretty good pass. Quarterback was very heavily pressured. The defense is looking good. Yeah, but this is yeah, this defense is looking really. It's a second possession, but they're looking really, really good. Still have mm. still have a lot to see, definitely just in this matchup alone. But they're looking solid so far. This defense is looking solid. Dallas Turner and Will Dallas Turner has created a lot of pressure on passing plays. The defensive line is getting subbed out a lot. DJ Dale is, was in the game. Now he's out the game. Byron Young, Justin Borgby is in the game now. So there's a lot of substitution going on on the seen, defensive uh, front. I haven't seen Jaheim Otis yet. Gonna, what in the world? Quarterback got pressure. He just yeah, threw a quarterback wild pass. pressured once again. Will Anderson, Dallas Turner coming off the edge. It's hard to contain that duel. That's a three and out again. Yeah, this yeah this defense is looking solid. Really great performance, but Anderson bringing the pressure. It's, it's looking like the, the defenses of old where you can't do nothing. Every Someone's coming at you from every angle. That's yeah. what it's looking like. Yeah, they, they looking really good so far. But like we said, yeah. it's only two possessions, but yeah, yeah. Alabama's defense is looking really good through two possessions against Utah State. We Almost about that kick. How everything happens. Kool-Aid McKinstry yeah, so Kool-Aid, picks up Kool-Aid the punt got return. Speed. Got some space. Kool-Aid with some good speed returning you know, the football. It's about to be 40. A nice return. Bobbled the initial catch, but he was able to focus on it, showing off his wide receiver background. See, that changed my mind. I wasn't really sold on Kool Aid returning the ball before. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that changed my mind right there. Yeah, yeah, he was he was solid. He was really electric at it in high school. But yeah, I think I think I, I am I am a bit surprised that he's returning punts this early in his career. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I saw. I saw. I think it's just it's another one of those things that is impacted by JoJo Earl being out. Earl was going to yeah, be yeah, the sure. um, returner. Pretty sure JoJo Earl would be returning. Yeah. Yeah, we saw J- yeah, Jason McClellan and Jameer Gibbs Jameer were in Gibbs the backfield at the same time on that play. Jason McClellan was a lead blocker. So we, we are seeing two of Alabama's running backs to that deep stable of running backs being in the game at the same time with Gibbs and McClellan both so, in the yeah, game. Bill O'Brien trying to be creative out here. I guess he read he read y'all comments. <laughs> He's still up in the booth. Probably still yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jameer Gibbs and Jason McClellan in the backfield again with Bryce Young. No tight end on the field. Kobe Printer, Jermaine Burton, and Trisha holding out wide. Bryce Young drops back. Bryce Steps Young up in the space. pocket. Here's Jermaine Burton for his first reception of the year. Burton. Jermaine Burton was first Bama catch out there. Yeah, Burton looked like he ran the hitch route. Sat down in the zone. Looks like he was defending zone coverage. Some random stuff. <laughs> They got a random Steph Curry pick, Bryce Young and Steph Curry. <laughs> Picture just no context, just flash, flashes yeah, on the screen. Popped up on the screen. Alabama's in that. a five wide, five wide receiver set, empty backfield. This is interesting right here. Yeah, really interesting. Kobe Prentice catches Kobe another Prentice. Get pass. First down, Kobe Prentice, nice catch. Yeah, Kobe Prentice, a hitch route. Yeah, they kind of mix slide them up wide with receiver. That. Picks up another first down. This is third reception of the game. Prentice making some plays early. I think Steven, Steven predicted Kobe Prentice to be the standout receiver for this game. Yeah, they it looks as if they want they want him to gain some confidence in this matchup. Prentice catches it again. Prentice, Prentice might with score this time. Catch. Prentice with another big catch takes Alabama into the down to the five yard line. The freshman hey, from Calera true is having a big game so far. Mike McCoy said he'll be ready to play immediately. That's what well, he's it was doing. Wide open. It was about a thirty-yard reception for Prentice. Man, hey, Prentice. Yeah, they they are they. Prentice is really having a great game so far, and Alabama is designing plays to get him open, trying to yeah. give him the football in space, showing yeah. confidence in a really really young player. Now look at this. Look at this formation. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a, they're, they're trying to mix it up. Yeah, three. Trips to the bottom of the screen. They might run to the opposite side of it. No, they're going to hit. Going to throw it up. Jermaine Burton, too high. Jermaine Burton, he tried to hit him too high in the end zone. <laughs> Shout out to Bias with that $20. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. As always, the man Tobias. So second and goal for the Crimson Tide. After trying to hit Jermaine Burton in the corner of the end zone. Bryce put a little bit too much air on it. Got Jermaine Burton and Trish holding in the game. Jason McCullough's going to get it. Run behind Jermaine Robbie. Burton Oops. Blocking. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard. I think something else that's interesting. We, we I don't think we have gotten an update on the Mio Ikior. But Ikior is not starting at the moment along Alabama's offensive line, although he was listed as Alabama's starting guard on the depth chart. Javion Cohen, the starting left guard from last year, starting at left guard this game yeah, alongside true. Tyler Steen. J.C. Latham and Kendall Randolph are the guard and tackle on the right side. Third and goal for Alabama. Bryce Young drops back. Looking, Great block got by a lot Tyler of time. Steen. Finds Jermaine nice Burton. Jermaine Burton for the, for the touchdown. touchdown for the Alabama. Good block by that O line. Somebody told me about the uh, TEA touchdown dance. I don't. I ain't know I had a dance. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, but Bryce Young finds Alabama. Jermaine Burton cutting back across the end zone and back of the end zone. So we see Alabama's wide receiver ga- wide receivers gaining some confidence with Bryce Young, Trayshawn Holden, Jermaine Burton, and Kobe Prentice, and Jameer Gibbs have all pulled in reception from Bryce Young so far. Yeah, the extra point, good. I mean, the team team looking pretty good, man. Yeah, look, it, they're looking still at. Got a lot expected. to see. Yeah, still a lot to see. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's what you expected. Yeah, that hold up. I, we can't we can't look overlook that. That was great protection by the offensive line. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Tyler Steen did some great protection. Yeah, he had all. Fresh Young had all day. Yeah. 
Tyler Steen had him covered. Yes, yeah, so Alabama's looking solid um so far. Alabama looking solid, guys. Is 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 what you expected. We got uh some new people in the chat. Crimson Wave. Welcome to the chat. Big Buck. Welcome to the chat. We got our, our TDA watch party crew up in here. Welcome back. New season, season opener. Glad to be back. Like I said, we do have a post-game show with former Alabama wide receiver and BCS national champion Mike McCoy. And we got Justin Riley host of the Bama Standard coming on right after the game for the post game show make sure y'all tune into that it's a call in show so you can call in give your thoughts make sure y'all tune into that yeah keep keep chatting definitely in the chats definitely read and engage with guys as chat in the um chat um room there up, up under the video but i know i see a lot of people in the in the chat box talking about the crimson ties run game um, we haven't seen yeah. the run game game momentum yet and, and like like um i forget your name you're in the probably in the chat a little bit up in it but you, you said that utah state gave up a lot of yards to uconn which they did and many expect alabama to take advantage of that and get some start in the run game but they have not done so so far but I don't, I don't think they have there has been a real effort to run the ball so far they they ran it probably Two or three times, maybe. Yeah, Bill O'Brien went away from the run game. <laughs> yeah, which is which is what I told Pat but, on the Bama Elite um podcast. I was like, I don't think they're going to try to run the football. I think they're going to try yeah. to build some um confidence and build build on the chemistry between Bryce Young and those wide receivers. Because going back and look at that national championship game, Bryce Young didn't have anyone to throw the football to at all. Mm -hmm. He tried his best to. He made some great passes to be honest by getting drilled by some great. Georgia defensive players, but the wide receivers were not creating any separation. So I felt they wanted to get that bad taste out of their mouth. Yeah, play good in the pass game, but the run game definitely needs um some momentum. It's not. It's too early to say. It's just like last year because there were there yeah, were times when Bill O'Brien totally abandoned in the run game. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Plus, I mean, they scored a touchdown, so it wasn't a bad decision to abandon the run game there. But just a couple plays they tried to run didn't work. Neither side is getting yeah, yeah, the run yeah. game off right now. Yeah, but yeah, Alabama's defense is looking solid though. I know I know a guy who hasn't been talked about a lot has stood out to me so far, and that's Justin and Boyd B. Two solid yeah. stars and two solid stops in the interior of Alabama's defensive line. We heard yeah. a lot of talk about Jaheim Otis, um, DJ Dale. He was a starter. I think some fans still iffy on yeah, Dale, yeah. but they, yeah, it's still Dale. I think it's still talk about him. Even Byron Young. Not a lot of talk has been about Justin and Borgby as an interior defensive lineman. Yeah, this the defensive line is looking more standoutish um, so far than last year. Yeah, and Will They're Anderson is work. actually on the sideline. Alabama makes some more moves. Dallas Turner, Chris Roswell rushing off the edge. You have Justin and Borgby rushing from the interior. Not Justin and Borgby, actually Byron Young and Jameel Burroughs. It's Byron Young and Jameel Burroughs rushing from the interior. And Dallas Turner and Chris Roswell rushing from the edge. Alabama's using this game to get some guys some experience. Yeah. That was a bad throw. Um, Eli Ricks in the Utah game. Utah State. On yeah, Eli Ricks was in coverage. Another another substitution on the defensive side of football. Eli Ricks. So I think Alabama's defense. Oh, Eli Ricks is yeah, out. Alabama's defense is deep and it looks as if they are going to, at least against Utah State tonight, we never know what the future may hold because I do feel there are some positions, battles that are carrying over from fall camp. But a lot of guys are getting substituted at the moment. Yeah, they're mixing it up, letting guys, letting guys get some playing time out here. Yeah, another tough run by Utah State. Probably three to four yards. Malachi getting Yo, crunk out there. Several. Jaheim Otis is in the game now, see? Jaheim uh, Otis another, out there. Another different, different group of interior defense alignment now. Yeah, I wanted to see how he moves out there, how he looks. Yeah, see, we got Jaheim Otis. See what Otis can do on this interior, this defensive line. Got Dallas Turner, Chris Broswell rushing from the edge. And Jaheim Otis Woo! got back there. Yo. Dallas Turner. I think there's something that's not nice talked tackle. about enough by Dallas Turner. I think Will Anderson, he's the most dominant player in college football. I think sometimes he he doesn't even get called upon to drop back in coverage. So we so, so we're not sure how comfortable he is in that position. Dallas Turner actually dropped back in coverage 
made a punishing tackle on the receiver after he caught the football. Yeah, that was nice. Utah State. Fourth and one. Utah State going, going for it. On Drop back. Brian Branch coming on a blitz. Two two pressure. Couldn't get the pass off through Turn it. Well, he got the pass off out of bounds. Aggies. Branch coming on the blitz. Like I've I've always talked about Branch and Malachi. Like I like I said, I think I think we want to cover. I probably on our um staff call. Like it's it's actually gets looked over how many times Brian Branch and Malachi Moore are called on the blitz. They blitz quite a bit, yeah, but yeah. they don't, they don't really get, get home a lot. Yeah. Cause I had to look back. Um, I ain't, I didn't notice Malachi blitz yeah. so much. Yeah, they, yeah, they actually blitz a good amount. Just didn't get back there. Yeah, the only guy who really has made that big impact as far as getting home at that position had, was Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah. He's the highest paid safety in the NFL right now, and that is one of the reasons yeah. he can really do it all. He's looking like a linebacker. Yeah. Like what? How do you get the sack? Appreciate y'all tuning in. TDA watch party. Yeah, Bryce Young and Alabama's check? offense about to take over. Make sure you hit that like button. We got Bryce Young setting up. Play action on drop back, load up, throw it deep. Long Has pass. your main burden off. Couldn't get off. I think it's a pass. I think it's pass interference on Utah State. Tried to go for the touchdown pass. Would have been a nice catch by Burden. I think Bryce, Bryce Young are having fun. Yeah, he's laughing out there. <laughs> Bryce Young out there laughing, having fun. Yo, the offensive line is holding up so far. And I'll be honest, I'm not really familiar familiar with Utah State's defensive front. So I'm not sure if they're going up against just all world defensive linemen. But so far, Alabama's Offensive line is holding up. They actually had two tight ends blocking on that last yeah. play. Miles Kisselman and Robbie Oops was blocking. Jermaine Burton could have caught that. Yeah, though. he could have caught that. I that think was, that shows off his athleticism. He got good good hands, hands, yeah. I had to update the score. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Jameer Gibbs going to run it, find some space. Gets Jameer the outside. Gibbs got this. First speed. down. Yeah, I think um, with, with Robbie speed. Oops in the game, I expected him to just run. He's basically basically being used as like an old school tight end right now. Yeah, it's yeah. like an extra blocker. I yeah. don't think he went out for a route yet. Yeah, Robbie Oops be blocking. <laughs> I'm I'm very confident when Robbie Oops is blocking. We got uh, Kalia Edwards in the chat. What's going on, Brent Leclaire? What's going on, L Dime Master? Thank you, Corey I mean, Brooks LD, is that wide receiver, actually. LDI? LDI, Sorry, man. Block. 45. I mean, 435. What's going on? Yeah, Gibbs got stood up on that last run. You yeah, appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, Alabama has is having some struggles with running down up the middle. Had some success running it outside. We're still trying to find some rhythm running it up the middle at the moment if I had to, yeah. I had to point, point out any flaw in their offense so far it would be that the yeah. interior run game yeah J um, Jameer Gibbs look like a mixture of a lot of people so someone right on the drop back hits Rayshon holding on the slant Rayshon holding with the holding carries a Touchdown. defender into the end zone using that 6-4 big body frame to score nice route Trey Trey Sean Sean him on a slant. Big man touchdown. Carrying the defender into the end zone. Man, everybody gonna get a touchdown in this game. Yeah, Bryce Young is Bryce having Young fun. Bryce Young is just clowning. He's having fun out here. Bryce is taller than Nick Saban. Yeah, did you see that? Like he did the um, celebration. <laughs> then like Nick Saban. Yeah, like he started that. talking to him. Hey, hey, relax, <laughs> relax. <laughs> yeah, that was... Will Riker field goal is good yeah i don't think we've seen a lot a lot of that from treshawn holding he's a big body wide receiver but we haven't seen him use that big body yeah, to yeah. like carry a guy into the end zone i didn't know he had it in him he showing off he has some, uh, showing like he can be a physical uh. wide receiver get fighting fighting the score it's a new handshake every year yeah, here you with go. the receivers here, yeah, here you go yeah <laughs> <laughs> Bryce Young celebrating Nick Saban. <laughs> <laughs> Called him right after the celebration. Started talking serious. He had to calm down. 
Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yes, Watch so party TDA. Yeah, this was this is this is going like many people expected to go. Many people yeah, expected yeah, this is, game to get it, out of hand. It's going exactly how most people would expect. Um, I'm assuming. Yeah, and it's not much controversy Alabama is facing at the moment. So yeah, just looking at things early on, it may not be the best game to that we'll get a judgment of this team. Most yeah, likely, yeah. we'll be next week like we expected anyway. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a complete blowout to me. It may be. Maybe they might. Yeah. Utah might get some. I don't know. Especially like coming to the second half. Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be a blowout. Yeah, I think um this this probably this game will probably be a great opportunity for Alabama to get some of those younger guys on the field, give them yeah. a look. I think I think we got a based on the trajectory of the game so far. It looks like we're going to get a glimpse, flashes of what this team could be. But it's just hard to make a claim of how good this team actually is so far. Yeah, I'm also interested in seeing Jalen Miro. I'm sure we'll see him at some point. Let him get some reps in there. Yeah, but I'm liking the way this interior defensive line is playing so far. I'm not sure how much Alabama will sub out these guys in the future. I think a lot of position battles are carrying in over from fall camp. So you want you want to give these guys an opportunity to see what they can do in live game action to possibly settle those battles. I don't, I don't expect a lot of substitutions next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good game to see who's really solid. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Like I said, we got a post-game show right after the game with Mike McCoy, former Alabama wide receiver, BCS national champion, and we got Justin Riley, host of the Bama Standard. Uh, right after the game, we got that post-game show, so stay tuned right after the game. We'll announce it again afterwards. And it's a call-in show, so you can call in Give your thoughts. Anything you want to talk about, call in. So that's right after the game, and that's after every game right here on Touchdown Alabama post-game yeah. show. Yes, we will be doing a watch party every Might game. Might have some guests, too. Might have yeah. some surprise guests, some surprise former players to show up, so you never know. So be sure to tune in to the post-game. Get your thoughts in. More discussion about this matchup. Looks at the Crimson Tide are in a really solid position at the moment. Nice crowd for a first game. Yeah, Brian Denton looks packed. It, it probably has to do with them alcohol sales, too. <laughs> <laughs> they got the alcohol sales going. $12 Bud Lights. $15 Yinglings. You know how it go. <laughs> got a studio update. Who, who they? Oh, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt up 14 0. Up 21 zip. 21 zip. 21 7. Yeah, Vanderbilt won. And they won their first game. They won against Hawaii. Vanderbilt. That's crazy that we're shocked. Trying to pick up some wins. (laughs) Winning a game. Yeah, yeah. I I think it's been a very (laughs) long time since they picked up a win in the SEC. So. Hey, Vandy trying to be some playoff contenders here, man. (laughs) Yeah, yo, Jordan Rodgers is a Vanderbilt alum. Oh, yeah. Vanderbilt about to win two Woo! games. Woo! Will Anderson. Will Anderson just destroyed. murdered the um Utah State running back rushing off the edge. Whoa. Yeah, you can hear that through the mics. This somebody to block him? That's a highlight. No. Nobody was on him. How can you not block through. these guys? <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch Will. How can you not just... block Will Anderson? I think he just shot past the tackle and the tackle didn't get an opportunity to get out of his stance. Okay, quarter Utah quarterback, Utah State quarterback got a um, pass off. Almost up to the first down on the 30 yard line. We got Eli Ricks in the game. Third down. Kool Aid McKintry on the opposite side. I think Eli Ricks has taken over Terry on Arnold ever since Arnold did not get his head around on that. First drive. Out. <laughs> Sometimes you only get one opportunity when the battle is that close. I think Brian Branch is going to rush off the edge here. I look at that. See if he actually going to rush. Come on a blitz. Now he moved out. He moved out. Oh, he covering. Man, it's court. Utah State quarterback is throwing some, some crazy passes. I don't know. It's, I think, the pre- it's probably the pressure. Yeah, on that last play, Eli Ricks actually jammed the guy at the line of scrimmage. With those long arms he got. <laughs> Yeah, he got some long arms, man. Crazy, freakishly long arms. He basically jammed the guy at the line of scrimmage, and the guy couldn't get off of his release. 
So Eli Ricks basically made that last play. Yeah, he they making it really tough for the for Utah State to throw the ball. Yeah, so like I Another said, another three and out. If Alabama's defense is as good as they are being hyped up to be, you have to dominate Utah State. They have dominated so far. Yeah, for sure. Defense is showing promise. Yeah. And it's only really, I think, that Terry and Arnold made really the only like noticeable error, I think, so far on defense. And Bryce Young What's looking mistaken? really solid. Looking like the Heisman Trophy runner. Bryce against. Young is chilling. Yeah, yeah, he's he's chilling right now. Yeah. And this is why is I, I think the, the odds are definitely stacked against them. I think he has better chance a better chance than probably any other Heisman Trophy runner that came back and that was basically forced to come back. So I th he's definitely in the conversation to be the Heisman Trophy winner again. Yeah, that'll be crazy. Yeah, that'll be crazy, but he's definitely in the conversation. Bryce Sean drops back. Bryce Sean with a nice throw to Trey Sean again. Trey Sean with a spin move got taken down. First down. Yeah, hit Holden on the pass. comeback route. Holden was wide open. Yeah, I like, I'm like also liking what I'm seeing out of these wide receivers. They seem to know, seem to have a feel of where to sit down at in the zone. All of them seem to have the feel to do that. See, Rob, oops, lined up wide. I wonder if he's going to go out here. First and 10 for Alabama. Bryce Young drops back. Hit Kobe Prentice on the screen. Kobe Prentice again. Nice catch. He just froze the defender in the open field. The guy reaching Man. for straight air. Woo! Kobe Prince is going in. Yo, Kobe Prince is still having an outstanding game so far. True freshman debut. Hey, Bill from New Gibbs York, on what's going football. on? Finally finds some space running Gibbs, in the interior. Yeah, Gibbs got a good run in there. Almost got the first down. Bad yeah. running the ball up the field. Yeah, Mia is actually the in the, the game field. now. I'm not sure why he wasn't in the game earlier, but he actually had right guard which is the position that he typically plays um kendall randolph is not in the game at the moment so alabama mixing up his offensive line as well it seems as if they are still trying to figure things out by sean drops back here's oops Ooh. i think that's the first time oops actually got targeted in a yeah, football yeah. game <laughs> i want to i wish they uh show how he ran his route i want to see how he ran his route <laughs> you know, i don't know how fat how quick he is Third and one for Alabama. I think they, did he call a timeout? I think someone called a timeout. Yeah, La Two. They're showing a, a lot two on the video side. of him, showing him on TV now. La Two is not dressed out anymore. Look as if he just warmed up, standing alongside former Alabama outside linebacker Anthony Jennings. Jennings. Appreciate y'all tuning in here. Bama's looking like you would expect them to look. Tobias is TB people. Speak Life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tobias, man. And the man Tobias, Tobias asking about the tight end that came from Juco. Most likely Miles talking about Miles Kissam. He's actually yeah. been in the game, but he has not ran a route. He's been he's been blocked. He blocked a couple plays. When Alabama came out in a two tight end set, it was oops in Kisselman. And he said himself he's more of a blocker. He prides himself in blocking. Yeah, I wonder what Prentice's stat line is looking like at the moment. He's off to a pretty nice start. <laughs> we got um well Prentice has five receptions, sixty yards. That's solid. That's it's actually great <laughs> yeah. for anybody. For it's still the first quarter. Prentice already has five receptions for 60 yards. That's crazy. Third and one freshman. for Alabama. Jameer Gibbs in the backfield. Alabama's going to toss it out to Gibbs, give it to him in space. He's going to pick up Gibbs about. some nice speed. Definitely picks up the first, the first down. Five to six yards. Yo, Gibbs is having his most success outside with that speed that he has quickly getting around the corner getting to the edge yeah. of utah state's defense but that's really the only success alabama has had running the football this most likely is going to do it for the first quarter alabama up 17-0 
That's the end of the first. It's looking like, you know, Bryce Bryce is looking really, really composed, chilling. Um, everyone's looking good so far. Defense, offense. Yeah, solid start it's, by it's Alabama's expected, offense. Man. Decent better. Like, yeah, it is exactly what we expected when you predicted scores. Just talking about this matchup. Just wanted to get your eyes on some of these guys we basically have never seen in Alabama uniform, like Eli Ricks, Jermaine Burton, Kobe Prentice, Jameer Gibbs. Yeah, appreciate y'all tuning in. Tobias said Gibbs is limping. Well, we'll see. I didn't see that. Yeah, and another thing, um, we take a look at Alabama's team as a whole and take a look at what they need to improve on. I think the only thing that may cause concern is, like I said, the interior run game. I think that's something. I think Jameer Gibbs can do it. Has nice size. Definitely is a nice size running back. And if he finds some open space running in the interior, I'm pretty sure he can take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah. Outside running game has been good interior has not but yeah but Pr Prentice is yeah, yeah like like Waylon pointing to Prentice but yeah Prentice having a very solid start so far I know people I know a lot of people expect um expect Joe Girard to come back try to take that spot possibly back but yeah, Kobe Prentice will have know. an opportunity with Joe Girard out which is unfortunate which is unfortunate for Earl but Prentice will have an opportunity to basically cement his spot in that position yeah i say he cemented already but <laughs> that's just me though yeah going back to i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about it with um steven and pat who are actually at the game there are our credential reporters who are live in the press press box right now but we have a new podcast you guys can definitely can tune into it the bama elite will be streamed on our youtube channel every thursday also have an episode out on sunday still working on that that is definitely in the works but on the first episode steven and pat sort of gave me gave me some doubt when i suggested that bryce young and will anderson were going to be the players of the game but looking at that first quarter this possibly could be what it's going to be leaning towards yeah that's what it's looking like. Um, like I said, Stephen predicted Kobe Prince to be a standout receiver here. I think that's definitely going to happen. Um, Will Anderson, Dallas Turner going in. And they are standing out. The line is looking good. But Will and Dallas standing out for sure. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Nick Saban can appreciate the, um, the progress of this game. Not like a crazy running up a score. You're scoring on every other play, so you're getting, you you're going to have an opportunity to give these guys a lot of snaps. I expect them to play the entire first half, probably at least half of the third quarter. Yeah. We should see some um, Jace McClellan, Roy Dell uh, in this second half here at some point. Yeah, we, we've seen a little bit of Jace McClellan, but not much. Seems as if he's yeah. going to run the football in the interior. Actually, yeah, McClellan's was, yeah. getting the football right now. There he is. There he is. He's going to run for a first down. The Jace McClellan, run. the Texas product, picking up the first down for Alabama. A lot of first downs already. Yeah, Alabama is mixing up this offensive line a lot. Now Randolph is actually lined up at left guard. Javion Cohen is not in the game. First and 10. Jason McClellan in the backfield. He's going to give it to McClellan again. He's going to get stopped in the backfield. Penetration coming from number, number 48 of Utah State. I wonder who he was lined up against on the offensive line going to show the replay. Totally beat Kendall Randolph. He totally Kendall beat Randolph. Kendall Randolph. That play just beat him. Yeah, you got him <laughs> Randolph was basically blocking the air. I'm, I'm not even sure Randolph even knew the guy went past him because he let him go and was looking for another guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got him a little highlight up in there. Put on his uh, mixtape. 
Bryce Young dropped back on second and 12. Bryce Young is uh, Deep. a lot of time. Oh, almost got intercepted. Bryce Young tried to do a last, sec yeah. last minute pass. Yeah, Alabama's offensive line is showing, a little, being a little bit inconsistent on this drive. A guy basically leaked through and put pressure on Bryce. Bryce had to dodge him. Yeah. But Alabama's offensive line has been a little bit inconsistent on this drive so far. It was a Two a bad plays pass. back to back. That risky pass worked the last time. Try to do it again. Yeah, the offensive line is showing a little bit of little, little bit of inconsistency. I think Alabama's still trying to figure it out there too. Like we said, they're mixing it up a lot. But third and twelve, Bryce Young drops back. Decent protection. Gonna roll out. Bryce, Bryce Young's going gonna run. run. Gonna take it inside the ten. Nice run on from Bryce. No hesitation. I think if I had to point out a weakness from Bryce Young, it's taking advantage. A running opportunity. Rodell Williams was actually in the game too. So we see Rodell Williams getting some snap. He was alone running back in the backfield. Had to turn into a lead blocker for Bryce. Yeah, great block attempt by Rodell yeah, Williams. Rodell was in there blocking. Bryce getting them runs in there. Yes, yeah, looks as if he's more confident running the football, knowing when it's an opportunity for him to do so. Because he could have just hit Rodell Williams really with a pass. Bryce Young will drop back and hear Rodell Williams coming out of backfield. Rodell wide open. Oh, he got great tackle by Utah State. Yeah, he would have been in there for a touchdown. A solid tackle by Utah State's defender on that play, but hit Rodell Williams on that play. Like I said, the play before he could have did, but he hit him on that play. Yeah, Rodell out here catching passes. Looking like a, this old running back group is built like yeah. tanks. Rodell built. So three wide receivers at the top of the screen, the three starting wide receivers. Rodell Williams still in the backfield. Gonna give it to Rodell Williams. Uh, no. Throw to Jermaine Burton for the touchdown. He actually fooled me. They mixed it up because last time they did something different with yeah, that the same RPO. formation there. Uh, the RPO fooled me. I thought Rodell Williams had the football. But he actually, Bryce Young actually kept it. Hits Jermaine Burton on the slant. Touchdown, Oama. Great, great RPO by Bryce Young. I, I, I could have scored it or the Williams at the football. Yeah. Touchdown, Alabama! What a nice RPO. Nice. Nice play by Bryce. Yes. Yeah, I think they're just trying stuff now. They're about to just try stuff. Yeah, Burden has two touchdowns so far. Burden yeah. looking solid. Another great transfer. Alabama had, gets to fall into their lap, basically, in the transfer portal. We can see the Plug and play. features now in the stadium. Plug and play with these transfers at wide receiver for Alabama so far. Bryce Young, Burton, I already had a relationship before him coming to Alabama. Pretty sure they're having a lot of fun tonight. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We got Taya Harden in here. What's going on? Daniel Diff. Welcome to the chat. Bill from New York, I think I yeah I shot you out. Bill from New York is in here. Eric Thomas is in here. What's going on? Welcome to the chat. Sweet Home Bama twenty two. What's going on? R J is in here. Welcome to the chat. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make yes. sure you hit the like. It's free. It's easy. Just do that right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Appreciate y'all tuning in. TDA watch party. Yeah, with Alabama's, with Alabama basically in control of this matchup, I think we have to start looking at some of the things we can keep our eyes on as far as development with this depth at different positions. I know a position that I, position group I will continue to keep my eye on is the offensive line. Showed a little bit of inconsistency during that last drive. I know they are still trying to establish the interior run game. Moving around a lot of things we have seen. Emil Ikiro in the game, him not being in the game. We've seen Kendall Randolph in the game, him out the game, JV Cohen in the mix. JC Latham and Darian Dalcourt and Tyler Steen have been the three constants so far along Alabama's offensive line. Yeah. The line is looking good, man. It, everything's looking good, really. It's. <laughs> Yeah, I think this like game. Said, yeah, just, this after this game, you can't get too high. You can't get yeah, too low. Yeah. It can't be too critical. Can't be. Can't get too high if you are a fan. If you are a coach. 
I think this game is just to show like, okay, it's it's what we expected. Now, from now on, let's see what you can really do. Yeah. Or if you're consistent. Because basically, it, it feels like what we've been talking about this whole uh, spring, season. summer, fall. It's the same stuff. Like it's what exactly what we expected to see. Yeah, veteran defense playing like a veteran defense. I'm a little bit surprised how dominant the interior defensive line has been. I didn't expect Justin Borg be Byron Young to be as dominant yeah, as they uh, yeah, have I been. I think this is the best I've seen them play so far. The secondary hasn't been tested outside of the one time that Terry on Arnold was tested. And I think that got him out the game. <laughs> Eli Ricks has been yeah, we at corner ever since. since. <laughs> We have not seen Terry on Arnold since he had a shot when he started at the beginning of the game. It's blew some coverage, so yeah, and it was a simple play. Like he, it wasn't bad coverage. It took him out. Simple as getting your head head around so you can see where the football is. Yeah, but it's a skill. It's not. It's definitely not as easy as it appears. Just turn your head around. It's something that you definitely have to get developed. First Anitra and Raby. 10 for Utah State. Welcome to chat, Anitra Raby. We got Stuart Winters in here. Welcome to the chat. Thank y'all for tuning in. I see Tim Smith as an interior guy right now. Who that for life? Chris says we need a... Another Will, a great sack. tackle by Will Anderson. Jaheim Otis and... That was a run play. Yeah, Jaheim Otis and Tim Smith are Alabama's interior defensive linemen. A great play by Will yeah, Anderson. Alabama's defensive front is showing up today. This is what Bama fans are used to. If you've yeah, been this a defensive Bama fan front, for a minute. We see Jordan Battle coming down on a blitz. Didn't get home. Utah State Utah drops, the the, drops the pass. Yeah, like like I consistently been saying, I think a lot of positions are not solidified for Alabama this season because yeah, yeah. Kyrie Jackson is in that cornerback right now. Yeah. I think Kool-Aid McKintry is out. It's Yo. a lot of depth they're, they're trying out here. Yeah. So I can't tell who is at the top of the screen right now. I know Kyrie Jackson's at the bottom of the screen, that cornerback on third and nine. I'm unsure who's at the top. It looks like Eli, yeah, yeah Eli, Eli Ricks, Ricks is in. So it's Eli Ricks and Kyrie Jackson at cornerback in the interior. You, can probably you have reach the veterans right <laughs> and Justin and Boyd B. You, got, you yeah, actually have, you actually got Toa Toa and Jalen Moody blissing from the defensive line, third and long. And what a play. Who who made that play? Who was interior guy? Is that Justin Boyd again? The, the run was immediately shut down. Who was that? Jalen Moody with the stop at the line of scrimmage. Justin Boyd had some penetration as well. Defensive front looking really, really strong so far. If they can do this against everybody. Yeah, just like Justin Boyd had that first initial rush. <laughs> Why he jumped on top? <laughs> <laughs> Dallas Turner jumped on top of the pile for no reason. Yeah, so. He he did, probably doesn't have a lot of stops, but I'm I'm really impressed with Justin Borgby so far. Yeah, yeah. I thought Jamil Burroughs was gonna stand out more. Utah punts. Kool Aid McKinstry calls for the fair catch. Twenty four zip. My scores. I gotta manually refresh the score. It's my bad. Twenty four zip. Bama is up. Yeah, Alabama's up 24-0. A lot to like so far. A bunch of random pictures. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> showing how long Will Anderson's arms are. I think Eli Ricks arms longer than that. For sure. Bryce Strong at quarterback. Kobe Prentice in motion. Gonna drop back, load Prentice up. Open. Prentice is a bit open. Bryce Strong's asking to run pressure. it. He ran, ran it in. Oh, he's going. Well, he's going loose. to the house. He's going to the house. Bryce, Bryce Young, Young slipped away. No, he did. Oh, wait, what? Is he running in slow motion? What is he? Uh, he got caught up. He got caught, but. I thought he was gone. Maybe his block. Yo, he saw. He oh. obviously saw all that space. All that green yeah, grass. Yeah. Yo, that's the most successful run play I've seen Bryce Young do, I think. But he yeah. seems to be more confident as a runner, knowing when to run. He kept his feet in bounds. Nice run by Bryce. Surprising. 
Yeah, did same. a little stutter, a uh, little juke move. Yeah, from this angle, it looked like he was gone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Wide open space. <laughs> yeah, they say uh, who that was saying hit the music. I thought I was ready to, <laughs> to do it. I thought he was under. Yeah. He was gone. Yeah, we have a yo. Yeah, Bryce is right having there. a ball tonight. He smiling yeah, yeah. out the every play. Yeah, he having fun. He got a million dollars in his bank account. Heisman <laughs> Trophy winner. I think yeah, they said Will Anderson driving a Lambo or something. <laughs> One of them driving a Lambo. You are correct, correct, correct. Sully four six two. He was the number one dual threat quarterback. We all knew he can run, but he was very hesitant last year. Seemingly, seemed as if he wanted to be really reliant on his arm. Somebody got banged up on Utah State side. To take him out. Okay, Anthony Richardson gets free against Utah. Alabama with Alabama the four wide receiver set. Treshawn Hall, Jermaine Burton, Kobe Prentice. I'm sh unsure who's at the top of the screen on the outside. Bryce Young drops back. Young hit. It was Ja'Cory Brooks, actually. Four wide receiver set. You had Ja'Cory yeah, Brooks, Jermaine Burton, Treshawn Hall, and Kobe Prentice in the game. But I think it was great coverage by the defensive back. Bryce yeah. made the right decision by not trying to force it in there. Yeah. Yeah, they had some good coverage back there. Yeah, well, it wasn't. To be honest, Jermaine, is Jermaine Burton, uh, not Jermaine Burton, Corey Brooks kept coming across with the slant. I think that what Bryce was expecting him to do. Yeah. Kobe Prentice coming straight. in motion on second to 10. Now he had Prentice. Prentice, uh, Prentice dropped the pass. Yeah, on a bit of a. Trying to continue to try to get him in space, but he dropped the football. I don't think he's going to take him out, though. He, yeah, already, yeah. he already proved and, himself. And that's the thing. A little that's bit. A, Kendrick Law is in the game, actually, too. Kendrick Law, the other freshman wide receiver, is inside okay. the game. Um, Corey Brooks was in the mix as well. But that was the thing about Kobe Prince that, that gave me doubts about his game was him consistently catching the football. Like, that was the biggest doubt I had about him watching him in high school. But like I said, in the past, I feel, it looks as if he has corrected that. Yeah, he's been catching. Yeah. That's the first one. And that wasn't really no, you know, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a. Just hit his fingers. You got to be patient when you're catching those type of plays in space if you're a wide receiver basically going to the a, flat. And he's a freshman. You can't really, you know, he already even snapped for a true freshman. He missed a little pass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a growing. Cut him some slack. Yeah, yeah, it's something he definitely has to continue to work at, continue to grow in terms of just being a consistent pass catcher. When you were catching a play, basically he came in motion, crossed Bryce Young's face, basically ran to the flat. Bryce Young hits him, but when you are trying to catch that pass right there, you have to make sure you catch the football before you run. Of course, you want to run because yeah, you yeah, yeah. are in space. So much space, so much green grass in front of you. You want to just go, but you have to make sure you get possession of the football, then work up the field. Yeah, y'all don't know Justin. He's, he's not just saying this. He's talking from experience. He was a wide receiver in high school, so Justin played football. Well, he played – you say he played multiple positions if you had to. Yeah, because yeah, I played – you know, most people you know two-way football. Yeah. You're not you, – you can't you can't go – like I go to most of these games – 7A, 6A schools, you playing offense, probably kick return. I remember games I was playing like kickoff, kick return, punt, offense, defense. Yeah, you know, basically Iron Man football when you playing yeah. at small schools like that. Yeah, man, Justin. Yeah, we might, you said, I know somebody coming, you all are behind. Yeah, we, yeah, might, we might get We delayed. usually are behind them um, because we are streaming the game. So we usually, we usually be a player two behind sometimes. Yeah, we started off. I think we start off in a good spot at first. <laughs> I don't know how it gets behind, but yeah, most screams are behind if you compare it to somebody who has like live. But we was ahead at first yeah, and yeah. it never stopped or anything. Yeah. Yeah, we're using that app. We're using the SEC network app, so it's streaming. So you know, it's not. It's connected to the internet. So plus the stream itself. Yeah, it's behind as well, so it's like yeah, y'all stop delaying the screen here. But we all watching the game. We here, T D A watch party. Matt B said, "What you drinking on? Take a guess. <laughs> Somebody guess what's in my cup? What's in my cup? It's in my cup. 
Remember Lil Wayne said it? <laughs> <laughs> it's my cup. Okay, we got Ikior. There's spotlight on Ikior. Ikior. Is that Ikior? Ikior. It's Ikior. Hennessy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't drinking Hennessy. <laughs> nah, not Jack and Coke. That's my go-to though. Both of those. But no, I'm not. I'm not drinking. Why I gotta be alcohol? Why can't I just be drinking water? Y'all going to the the liquor store on me? <laughs> You can tell how you can tell what somebody's drinking by how they drink it. They take a slow sip. <laughs> <laughs> it might be some liquor. They just go in. <laughs> That's water. Third and Kool-Aid ten. Third and ten for Alabama. They switch it around. It might be some 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 sweet. You know what I'm saying? See if they make some changes on the offensive line. It looks as if it's the same. But Kobe Prince is not in the game at the moment. It's actually Jermaine Burton, right, Freshman Holden, out, and Ja'Cory Brooks. I might let him back in. Jermaine Burton has been kind of quiet this game. No, he's, he's he got, got two touchdowns. touchdowns. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm tripping. Never mind. But <laughs> Yeet. Bryce, what a play by Freshman Holden. He is holding on the outright. Oh Holden God. throws off the defender. So we've seen, like I said, we've seen Holden be more of a physical presence. This play, this game. Yeah. So two touchdowns apiece between him and Jermaine Burton. Nicknamed the defensive back assassins. And he's breaking tackles. Dragging people. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Getting open. Yeah, I'm like my Sam Trayshawn Holden in terms of what he's doing after the catch. We've always known he had, has had that big frame, but we have rarely seen him use it to his advantage as far as breaking tackles and yeah. making it hard to bring him down with one guy. Presenting a big target as well by sitting down in zone coverage. Oh, Wacker with the field goal. Yeah, Wacker has a solid game too. I know a lot of people have really good games, but Wacker nailed a decent kick earlier in the game to put Alabama up 3-0. Yeah. Of course, people expect you to do good yeah. on kicker. Like that's what you're supposed to do, but you still <laughs> still can't overlook it because hit. Yeah, hit Trisha and holding on that. I remember at one point you was nervous every time Bama kick was gonna kick a field goal. But we got real Riker now. People a lot of people's predictions was up in the fifties. So we'll we'll see. I mean it's definitely looking like it can definitely get Yeah, my prediction was fifty two to ten. I don't I don't see how Utah State scores. Yeah, I've seen a lot of fifty twos, fifty fours. It's 31 at zip. Yeah. This could get really bad because it's 10 minutes left in the second. Yeah, like it's... <laughs> they got plenty of time to double what they already did. They yeah, get up in the 60s. Yeah. I would like to see Alabama try to run the ball now. I think you the game is in hand. The, 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 yeah. Those receivers that you are trying out, I feel they are played solid. Man, I'll put in Miro for a little bit. <laughs> Why not? Let me let me get a couple couple yeah. passes up in there. Yeah, I think I think they're gonna try to probably keep Bryce in yeah, just because it's so early in probably second. Fourth. But I think he, they keep, I think he definitely coming in third. Just looking how the score going. I mean, yeah, third, my bad. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, hey. Ty Simpson might get some snaps at the way early, man. Yeah, Utah State actually changed their quarterbacks. Oh. <laughs> Seventh year. Twenty-four year old quarterback in the game. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> Seventh year quarterback, he a veteran. As he throws it out, what a play Ooh. by Kyrie Jackson! Kyrie tackled, Jackson basically died. tackled the blocker and tackled the receiver. Took two people down. Kyrie Jackson with a read the play from the jump. He tried to run s- through the blocker. Yeah, he knocked the, the blocker helmet off. He hit the blocker, knocked his helmet off. Then ran came through and grabbed the blocker. Guy. Yeah, pushed the blocker. Basically, the blocker made a tackle for him. That counts as two tackles on the <laughs> stat sheet, don't it? <laughs> he been watching WWE. Yo, I don't. How will how will Alabama determine who's gonna be these starting cornerbacks? I don't know. He might. They might just keep mixing them up. I see. Terrion Arnold is in the game along with Kyrie Battle Jackson. Jordan Battle with a nice tackle. Yo, how many yards does Utah State have? 
Utah State might have about 40 yards. Probably less than that. The quarterback has 40 yards. The top runner has 8 yards. Utah State. 39 total yards. 42 total yards. 42 yeah, you, Utah total State yards. currently has 42 total yards. Well, they just 52 now with that. Yeah, just pick some up. Got a little decent run right there. Zero and five on third downs. Yeah, it looks like they got the first down. The quarterback took off, taking advantage of the open space. First and ten for Utah State, but U U Utah State only has 52 total yards at the moment with it being the second quarter with eight minutes and 50 seconds left. Right First and ten for Utah State. Broswell, Dallas Turner rushing from the edge. They can't run. Oh, he got he got, he got actually, a little loose. He actually got loose on that play. He got a little loose. He almost got the first down. Yeah, Alabama is mixing up this defense everywhere. Deontay Lost yeah. is actually in the game now, lining up alongside Henry Toll Toll. That's who I've been wanting to see, man. So we got Lawson in the game. Justin the boy beat DJ Dale, Chris Broswell, and look as if Brian Branch is rushing from the edge. Makes a stop into the backfield. Everybody's back there. That is what I was looking for with Malachi Moore and Brian Branch. I feel they have to have more of an impact in defending the run. And Brian Branch basically rushing from the edge on that place. I thought I thought it was Dallas Turner at first, but it was Brian Branch rushing from the edge, meeting the court, meeting the running back in the backfield. Bryce Young has 144 yards total right now. Now, D D that's the same group. Deontay lost still at linebacker. Oh, Utah quarterback threw it too high. Seventh year quarterback. I mean, seventh year <laughs> player. Player. Fourth and three. Utah State going for it. Xavier Williams, former Alabama. Oh, that's Xavier receiver. Williams out there. <laughs> I know everything. Trust me. <laughs> Call him. Xavier Williams out there. Yeah, along lining up against Kyrie Jackson. Fourth and three. Utah State. This is going to be the second time going forward on fourth down. Will Anderson back into the game. He's the only outside linebacker Alabama has in the game at the moment. You said Black Shires out there. No, it's Deontay Lawson still out there. Utah State is going to call a timeout. I think they're going. I think they're going to think about it and punt the football now. I don't know if we behind or what. We got a recruiting questions. Brent Leclerc said, "Do you honestly think Alabama will get Keon Keeley to commit?" I think they. I think they are definitely in a great position with them. Just looking at his official visit schedule, he's at Ohio State this weekend to watch him take on Notre Dame, the team he was um, verbally committed to for a long time. Headed to Florida um, after that to take an official visit as well. Alabama is expected to get him on campus for an official visit when they take on the Texas and Aggies in October. In a decision that's expected um, later in the fall, probably after he takes all three of those official visits. So Alabama definitely has a great chance. I think they they can lock him up with that last official visit. But you never know. Can't count out Ohio State. Great development yeah. of edge rushers, defense linemen. Yeah, I think some recruits they just they just make it known like I'm going to Alabama. Some some just uh, ride their recruitment out. They don't want to give it away. Yeah, so I think um, to be honest, Alabama fans are still high. But to be honest, the chances might have been a little bit better um, before he decommitted because all all the momentum was headed in their direction, and it. And if he was um, if they were in like the lead, the definitely the lead position, I think he would have committed um, as oh, soon yeah. as he decommitted from Notre Basically Dame. So open he, yeah, back up. I don't know about James Smith either. I'm, it's sometimes be like maybe sometimes I don't know, but he was wearing them gloves, Bama gloves, which we do have a James Smith video dropping. Uh, Justin went out to see him in uh, Montgomery and Cray Russo. And uh, James Smith was playing in some Alabama gloves. I don't know if that yeah. means much, but he was playing in them. Yeah, Alabama's in a good position with both Corey Russo and James Smith, but Smith is an interesting prospect. He's really entertaining. We we, we, we yeah. did a um, video on him um, during us, I think a couple of months ago. He's really entertaining in that interview. So he's he's really yeah. quiet about his recruitment. Like if you ask him anything about a certain team, he tries his best to circle around the question. Re but he's about about really um like 
I guess playing a recruiting interview or an interview question um, with them, playing that game with them. I remember the last interview I did, Thursday, I asked him about Alabama, and it, this is this was his answer word by word. They are trying to do the same thing that we are trying to do. We are trying to win a championship. They are trying to win a championship. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he plays the recruiting game really well, but it's out of definitely um still in the mix, one of his top schools. Yeah, Justin asked him, you know, who who what schools have been contacting him. He like, man, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the last one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, seven year. They they said the um that Utah State quarterback has been on the team or he's a seventh year student or been on the team for seven years. So he, he, he OG. That's a weird. It's a with some some weird Dr Pepper emotion. <laughs> Man, they, I bet none of them drink drink them. No, those bottles was full. <laughs> Nothing drink. Y'all like Dr Pepper? I, I like Dr Pepper. I just won't think about getting it. But I never thought it was nasty. A lot of people say. Yeah, a lot nasty. of people don't like it's Dr good. Pepper. I, I I like I, I like Dr Pepper too. Like you, I said, it's not something I'm going to get. But yeah. if you gave me a Dr Pepper, I'm not gonna like. I think throw it away. It, it's weird to to drink it like. What you drink, Doc, Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper? Like, why did you get that? But it's good to me. Yeah, I think it's one of the things you get if it's there. So I think I think the most I drank it probably when I was in college because, you know, when in college cafeteria, you have, like, the drink machine. So, you, like, you go there every day, like, yo, let me try something different yeah. today. So, yeah, Dr. Pepper, one of those drinks. All right, what's the, what's the drink called when you just do all of them? Yeah, I'm not even we sure. We called it something. <laughs> <laughs> that was nasty. Yeah, Pepsi is, I think Pepsi's goaded. Dr. Pepper with the uh, the fireball. That's that um the big red right there. First and ten for Alabama. Running the football, oh. still having a lack Can't of success in, yeah, interior. in the interior. But Rodell Wiggins was running the football in that play. Miles Kisselman was in the game at tight end, only as yeah. a blocking tight end. Yeah, I think that's the only criticism you have from this game. Really, no production running the football in the interior of Alabama's offensive line. Miles right Kisselman, on, nice starter. Miles Kisselman. Miles Kisselman get his first reception in the Alabama uniform. Juco tight end transfer. Yeah, that's it. Roll time rise up. I can't, I can't say that word on stream. Probably get banned. Yeah, that's the drink. Yeah, Kobe Prince is coming in motion again. Where that Williams find some space in the interior of Alabama's Ooh, offensive line right for the Williams first time. With that power running right Showing there. some patience, waiting to waiting for the hole to develop. It's feeling like it's feeling like the end, like the fourth quarter when you know the game is over. That's how it feels right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice vision by Williams, patient. Prince is in motion again, basically like the same play. I'm pretty sure that was the same, ran the same play again. Where that Williams picks up about three to four yards. Coach Moose said, I don't like Dow Court. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like him? I, I think do? he I think he's pointing towards the Alabama's off the offensive line production in terms of running the football yeah. in the interior. McLaughlin inside was hurt, right? I no, I think he just got Darren Dow Court just won the position. I remember saying he was out early. Right Sean throws right, it. Deep. With a bomb. Uh, it was a little a bit too, too much on it. He's trying to throw a bomb to Jermaine Burton for the touchdown. And Burton had a step. Burton did create some separation. Yep, yeah, Alabama has had some time to throw the football. Bryce Young is not getting pressure, but the offensive line is not moving guys out the way. And this is a Utah State defense that you couldn't gash on the ground. Yeah. So really interesting that Alabama is not having no success running yeah. the football. They must have went. They must have practiced hard after that. But you know, everybody plays Bama different. It's like the the highlight game of the, the on the schedule. His mic ain't working again. Oh, I've saw it. <laughs> Yo, that referee, I feel like this referee always does the small games. <laughs> I never I don't remember seeing him. Yeah, I I remember seeing him. I feel like he always does like the smaller games. It's crazy. Some positions can't move at all, but some of them can, you know, move around. Cause he didn't get over the line of scrimmage; he just moved. Yeah, I felt the. Yeah, I felt the. A third and two for Alabama. Robbie Oops coming in motion. 
three wide receivers, Kobe Prince is fresh and holding in the game. I'm gonna pitch it out to Jace McClellan, gonna find some space trips, but still gets the first down. First down, Alabama, five minutes and 50 seconds left. Crimson tied up 31 0 in the second. Steven Smith said that Gibbs looks to be fine. He's on the sideline, you know, moving with everybody else. Steven Smith is at the game. Yeah, I think um, McClellan. Said he looks fine. He's yeah, I think, just on the side. I think he's trying to mix in these running backs. We haven't yeah. seen Trey Sanders yet, or is he in the backfield right now? We have yet to see Trey Sanders. I'm yeah, trying to um, see if he's in the backfield right now, but I think that's not him. It's Roy right Dale Williams in the backfield. Williams, nice no. play by Williams. Yeah, I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but it worked. Yeah, it Williams was a blocker at first, turned from blocker to receiver. He's done a good job of doing doing that so far, making a smooth transition from blocking to being a safety valve for Bryce Young. But flag on the play, I'm not sure what the flag is for. There was a, um, a conversation. Uh, Elijah called in from New Jersey, and Steven was agreeing with him that Trey Sanders probably should transfer. Because, I mean, especially someone with his talent, I don't know if he's going to play that much with, with this running back room. Like, you're like a – you're like, uh, I'm going to let you get some reps right now type of back right now on this team. We – it's going to be Roy Dell and Gibbs before you. Roy Dell, McClellan, and Gibbs. Yeah, McClellan, <laughs> Gibbs, and Roy Dell. So I don't know. What y'all think? You think Trey Sanders should transfer? Gibbs and McClellan in the backfield together right here. Going to hit Isaiah Bond. Nice catch by Isaiah Bond. Surprise. <laughs> nice play by I, Isaiah I Bond. Didn't, I didn't expect to no see talk him. has been about Isaiah Bond at all. Yeah. But Bond hit a hitch route. So a speedy wide receiver, four star, Bruford High School in Bruford, Georgia. A lot of speed, athletic, play defensive back and wide receiver for Bruford. So really surprising to see him, but I think Alabama's just trying out a lot of different guys. But Bun is in the game. Yeah, I didn't expect to see Isaiah Bun. That's cool. Yeah, probably gonna see everybody. Yeah, first today. and goal, Jameer Gibbs bounces nice outside. Step. Nice sidestepping out there. That was a nice run by Gibbs. It was kind of short, but nice side stepping out there. Yeah, he had to bounce it outside. I'm not sure if that play was designed to go outside. It looked as if he was looking in the interior at, at first. Saw no space. Bounce it outside. Man, it's gonna be a long game, man. Cause it's <laughs> like 70 to second and go. Isaiah Bun, Kobe Prentice, and Trayshawn Holden out there. I don't think I came to this game expecting to say. Those three names being lined up wide receiver yeah. at the same time. Prentice, Bun, and Holden lined up at trips. I think gonna hit yeah. Bun. He's gonna hit Bun in the back of the uh, end zone. I like some pass interference, man. Young yeah, we, overthrow Bun. Look at the Bun did get held. Eric Tom said why transfer there could be an injury like last year trade could be put in rotation. Yeah, yeah, that definitely um yeah, can happen. True. But yeah, I think I also think that is a little bit more from a fan perspective in a way, because because I think I think in a way, of course you want to think about the team, but yeah. you also have to be selfish in a way, think about your future in a way. Yeah, you can't wait on what if. <laughs> yeah, because it depends on yeah, it's what it, you're trying to do. Yeah, at that's the next hard. Level. What if? Yeah, and he's the he's the fourth guy. <laughs> Even if one get injured, he still won't get looked that much. But I mean. He can have success somewhere else. It's possible to have success on another team. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's um difficult for him as well. Yeah. Because you are you've been in the program so long. And, and you you are the fourth guy. He's a good really he, good running back. Yeah, he has done he has just based on what we have seen from him doing interviews, he has seemed to take everything really well. You no, know, he has battled injuries and bounce back from it and everything. Yeah, last year there were some games he didn't play in at all. Like I know the Miami game, he didn't get to play. Yeah, so it's third and goal. Jason McClellan in the backfield. Bond, Prentice, and Treshawn Holden out there in a bunch formation at the bottom of the screen. Bryce Young drops back. Bryce, sacked. Young's, Bryce sacked. Young's gonna be sacked. Gotta see the replay. See where they, number they nine wasn't, they wasn't came protecting from. that right side. 
Either they got locked up. I'm trying to see who we got beat. Did Oops get beat or oh Oops got beat? Yeah, Oops got Oops, Oops got beat. The spin move beat Oops. I guess on yeah. the, on the move Oops wasn't fast enough. Yeah, this nice spin. Great spin move, but Oops is a great run blocker. He obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't have like great experience with this, pass yeah. blocking. And what a great spin move by that um, defender. Great move on Oops. Wasn't the offensive line at the time. It was a tight end trying to pass block. Great, great rush move. Spin move, making contact. Spinning off of Oops' body. Great pass rush move. I think Oops needs a little bit more experience as a pass blocker to defend yeah. against that. That's what I was thinking, too. He just, if a speedy guy is on him on the run, they can probably easily get around Oops. Yeah. We're working with the field goal. 33-yard field goal. Do, can we get, can you go see who, what was his first one from? Will Rocker, solid outing. Last field goal put Alabama up 34-0 from 33 yards out. Nailed one earlier to put Alabama up 3-0. They probably don't need to have it. His first one to his first field goal. The first one was uh, 33 yards. No, 45, 45 yards. That was solid. I know it was pretty deep. For Will Rocket hit and has nailed a 45 yarder and a 33 yarder. Riker going in. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. TDA Watch Party, we in here. Football is back. Season opener. Bama 34, Utah 0. Tobias is really mad, uh, really disgruntled with the O-line right now. He said it's unacceptable. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We are going to take a break at halftime. And we'll be back when the game comes back. Of yeah, course, yeah. you all can stay and chat. Yeah, I see, I see a lot of people debating about how some guys are, are looking. Yeah, I definitely understand. We get, we get our first chance to see these guys. So let's talk about them, evaluate them definitely. But I, I, I do feel it's going to be a lot, a lot of growth that happens during the season. So I, I can't get too high, can't get too yeah. low. But the offensive line has definitely shown some inconsistencies. I think they are still trying to figure it out as well. The only three constants that I see is J.C. Latham at right tackle, Tyler Steen at left tackle, and Darian Dalcourt at center. Those guard positions have been moved around a lot so far. Maybe they're trying to move it around to get more momentum in terms of their run game and the interior. Yeah, yeah. Uh, trying to find the, the best interior combination. The run game is not working out at all. Um, obviously they didn't need it. Sorry, they're playing ads on me. Pete Golden out there. Yeah, Pete, Pete Golden defense. I haven't heard no. I haven't heard a single message about Pete Golden in the chat. Yeah, that's, Is that a record? That's what I always say. If if the defense does <laughs> good, would Pete Golden get the props for it? Yeah, I haven't. Because when they mess up, he get he gets he gets. Yeah, some someone has to type Pete Golding's name in the chat. I haven't. I think this is the first time we did a watch party where Pete Golding's name has not came up. Yeah, yet. his name <laughs> Golding or Bill O'Brien has not came up. Uh, Bill O'Brien either. I guess the game is the game is going smooth. There's really, no reason to play yeah. with coaches anymore. But if the defense does good, or the offense does good, you know the players get the credit. If they mess up, yeah. then the coordinators. <laughs> They get the um, the bad comments. So if the defense just completely snap this year, would would y'all say great job, Pete Golden? Like Pete Golden is legit. Would y'all say that, or would you say he has a lot of high caliber players? That's what they're supposed to do. And another great stop, Jaheim Otis, creating some some pressure in the interior. Of Alabama's defensive line on that play. I see Earl Little Robinson. is not um, dressed out as well. Another yeah, Earl freshman, Little. Earl Little, is Earl not Little dressed out today. Boot. He got a boot on. Yeah, Jaheim Otis is looking quick. Yeah, he may, he may, he, he has some penetration. He hasn't played a ton, 
but he's in the game right now. We can focus on him a little bit more. Chris Roswell and Will Anderson rushing from the edge right now. Deontay Lawson. What a play by Deontay Lawson. Perfect stack and shed. Met the blocker. Is that De That's Deontay Lawson? Met the blocker in the hole. Took on the block. Nice tackle by Lawson. But Nick Saban about to slap the <laughs> Oh. Nick so Saban told the ref to wake up. <laughs> wake up. You know, when he walks, when he's mad, he got a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, walks yeah. like side to side. It looks like. It looks like. It looks like he's about to grab the ref. <laughs> I got to be standing up to do it. I've been practicing it. Yeah, I, I really like seen that him last. Get that mad yeah, him watch him. Hit, hit, watch him. <laughs> he was chasing him. Yeah, you, you see a little run he did? Yeah. <laughs> Can't you get a tech for that in the NBA? If you keep um, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's chasing all, and yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. the ref. Well, I guess it's until they see it's too much. Yeah, yeah. Or go a weird graphic. <laughs> oh, they got that from when he said he cleaned yeah, house yeah, yeah. well. But why, why isn't no one narrating the graphic though? <laughs> <laughs> they got Nick Saban vacuuming up team logos. Who <laughs> 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 you making these? To be honest, this like not one of the best ones it just showed though. If if it's been some really good ones. If you think about it from another another team's perspective, that's crazy that they they're making a graphic about him like that. Like if yeah, they yeah. did for Utah coach. Yeah, yeah, but nobody. Nick Saban's yeah. just so yeah, yeah, so big. Yeah, third and twelve for Utah State. Broswell, Will Anderson, Rich from the edge. Toro Toro showing blitz, but I don't think he will blitz. He probably will drop back, but. Uh, False start by the right tackle of Utah State. Looks like Broswell had him a little nervous. See, Dalco got to get that Landon Dixon. I'm going to see if Steven going to call in before we go on break. Third and 17 for Utah State. Broswell rushing from the edge with Will Anderson. Justin the Borgby is the only interior rusher. Only rushing three. Actually, Byron Young. Face mask. Ooh. It might be face mask. Was that face mask? I think he grabbed his jersey. His jersey. But nice play by Toll Toll. Nice play by Byron Young. Byron Young was actually the interior guy. Byron Young basically collapsed the pocket. You, you can't really say anything bad about this defensive front. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, Will Anderson. Chris Broswell, Byron Young, all did a great job. Yo, great play by Byron Young. Byron Young actually got out in space to, to almost hit number four. Byron Young almost came back in the play. <laughs> Byron Young putting in work, man. Willie three five one said Lawson looking like another number, number thirty two, not Moses. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking about um, ah. CJ CJ Mosley, not Moses. Yo, what, what a play by Lawson, though. I really like that play by Lawson. Nice way to take on the block. It, is it me or this a long second quarter? Yeah, you know I'm saying? I think it's going to be a long game. And yeah, this is a very long second quarter. And yep, you guys probably turn, you guys are turning turning your TVs back and forth probably a little bit more. We're not doing it all, but more than us for sure. Any update on a Texas, Louisiana, Monroe? What is Texas doing? With Louisiana, Monroe. Utah State is going to and punt it left. on fourth and fifteen. Alabama not going out to the punt. Kool Aid McKintry back deep has a lot of room. Is he going to return gonna this return one? He's going to return it. Find some open oh, space. Up. Nice tackle. Nice coverage by Utah State. Kool Aid looking good on those returns though. Oh, Yo, yeah. Jermaine Knight, put the yeah. little. Burton got some routes on him. First and holding being a big body wide receiver tonight. Everybody getting touchdowns. Yeah, Willie 351 said Kool Aid taking one to the house this year. I, I believe he can. Yeah, I think he, I think he can. He definitely, he definitely has that athleticism that Wiggle, former wide receiver in high school at Pinson Valley. So I, th I think he definitely has these skills. 
Al Bryce Young with another great day. That's why I feel it's going to be hard because I think they don't want to give a guy the Heisman Trophy again. But I think Bryce Young will put some pressure on him this season. I think he's, he's going to be have a great season. Yeah, it's going to be like, who else we going to give it to? He was in there? He was incomplete? Nah. Bryce threw a pass. Trying to hit Ja'Cory Brooks. Brooks. But Brooks is out of bounds. Yeah, Utah passed the field. Yeah, has they have they passed the field? I think so. Yeah, I don't think so. They haven't been in field goal range. Time. They haven't been in field goal range. They may not have passed the fifty. I'm not sure though. I thought it was one run they got. They, they might they not. might have like passed it once. Yeah, I think it was but, once. Yeah, but I don't think they've passed it. If it, if they did pass it, probably once. But they probably didn't. I'm not sure. Yeah, I could be mistaken. What a play! But, ooh, ooh, what a play! Bryce. Throwing to Trayshawn Holden. Bryce, Bryce hit Trayshawn Holden going across the middle. Holden gets popped. Hold on to the football. But watch Jameer Gills pick up the blitz. Oh, yeah, what a, yeah, yeah. What a block, block by um, Gills. Block on the left. Great catch by Holden. Yeah, Kendrick Law is in the game. So we see a lot of young wide receivers too. We've seen Kendrick Law, Kobe Prentice. Also, I've seen Isaiah Bond. 43 seconds. To halftime. Oh, roughing the passer on Utah State. He got targeting. I didn't see what happened. Oh, Bryce Young must got smacked again. <laughs> it was a target. Yeah, I, I seen him do a thumbs oh. up to the sideline, like, like I'm okay. Boom. Oh. Yeah, he hit him straight in the face. Helmet yeah. to the to the face. Woo! Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah, I think I think he about to get ejected. I think number yeah, zero man. is about to get ejected. Then it's a Heisman quarterback. You out of here, man? Yeah, he's about to get ejected. I don't even. I, I think it was. It looked as if it was head to head. Ooh. But Bryce Young is totally defenseless. Yeah. Not even. I, it's. It looks a head to head too. Yeah, it's head to head. It's. That's it's one of those up. perfect examples of targeting. Yeah, it's straight up ramming someone with your helmet. Why would he even try to tackle him like that? You know he's short too. You can't even tackle him like that. Unless you're trying to literally headbutt him. He ducked his head. Number zero probably ducked his head. Like, he already said go to the locker room. <laughs> 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 yeah, you might have gone to the locker room. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's going on. They sending yeah. him to the locker room before the, deci the decision. Yeah. You, you can't. I mean, that's <laughs> obvious targeting. There's no question about it. Yeah, it reminds me of that meme. He ain't really dropped Ooh. low though. Yeah, it, Bryce Young was really defenseless. Basically went under his helmet. Just a dangerous play. You know Bryce short, man. You gotta get lower than that. Yeah, what's that meme? Is that meme of the Simpsons? Where he's what? like, um, baby, <laughs> like I think it's I forget the meme when like pat the um person on the back. I don't know. I can't I can't think of it. Are he coming back? Oh, he's. Well, he what? don't think. He guess he's not getting. They don't got decision. They probably yet, told so. him. Yeah, told him to wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he know he gone. <laughs> they let him do that in their conference. They hit him with the John Madden drawing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like he didn't hit him with the crown of the helmet. So I'm not really. I wouldn't call it targeting because. It's a helmet though, helmet to helmet. Yeah, I thought it was just helmet to. Helmet. It, I mean, you, it's a lot. It's a it's a it's a lot of things that go into it. A defenseless player is a huge part of it. I think defenseless player played a bigger role in that one than the head to head because Bryce Young was in like totally yeah with that bad it's just position right there. Like you just hit him in the yeah. head. Like what we can't reverse that. I'm like it's Bryce Young, man. Come on. <laughs> it, but he'll be back next game for Utah State, though. He, got, he just has to set out two. A half, a, he'll be back um, for the second half of their next game. Two quarters. Yeah, yeah. Four uh, uh, game got set out. Uh, is it a game or two quarters? I forget. I think it's two quarters. Probably think it's two quarters. So he'll be back next. He'll be back either way next game for them. First and 10, 43 seconds left. Alabama on the 30-yard line. Bryce Young drops back. Lots of time. He's going to run again. Run. A lot of space. 
Yeah, you got to learn. Yeah, you got to. Your price got to get down a little bit. You're trying to do the hurry up yeah, offense right here. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing out of um Bryce as far as running the football, but he's not sliding at all. He's trying to juke yeah. guys in open field. Pretty sure they would rather him slide to get when, down. When he take off, it look like he about to fall forward. He going to throw it. Hold him he with another that. touch. He was he the that. end? He was in there. Hey, I think they got to review that one. He was in the white. I think they got yeah, to review, review that, that. one. He be doing, he, that's his third like last second pass to Holden. Holden got them hands, man. A Howell says, stop running, Bryce. I can't see it. Give me another Either angle. Way. We need that little orange the cone. Need angle. the pile on camera. Here we go. Still can't see. For real. It's not a good angle. That looks like it look it's like in from this. But for, we need a better angle. Here you go. Here go the angle. Boom. He yeah. out. He out. He out. He out. Oh, yeah. He out. Dang. He needs some smaller feet. <laughs> What a flip by Bryce Sean and Jason, Jason McClellan. McClellan. Touchdown run. We're a little delayed. It's all right. Jason McClellan walks it in for the touchdown. So five touchdowns for Bryce Young in the first half. His second Heisman campaign is off to a nice start. It's Utah State, though. So. Yeah, the Heisman, you get the moments. The Heisman is about the stats, too. So five touchdowns, yeah. though. That's a solid start for his yeah. drive to possibly get the Heisman again. Will Riker, solid. Yeah, 41-0. They might play one drive in the third quarter. Sit him out like two. Yeah, this game is going to be one of those there's a lot to be excited about if you're an Alabama fan. And I'm pretty sure Alabama likes a lot of things about the team. But I think we're still going to have some unknowns. Yeah, I didn't expect 40 in the first half. I didn't expect you, that. You still got to get that first test. But this is a solid team. Now, people are saying that this year, Saban, especially for this opener, he's going to run the score up just to show college football that – they ain't playing this year. What, what do you think about that? You think they just gonna keep running the score, but they just gonna? I think I think Alabama doesn't have to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think they're just it's it's Alabama at this point in yeah. their dynasty. I don't think they have to do it at this point. Cause um Miami putting up seventy points against Bethune Cookman. Like what y'all doing? Seventy to thirteen. But we're trying to get uh, Stephen Smith is at the game. We're going to try to get him in here to give his what he's seen. He's at the game in the press box. Gives a halftime report. 15 seconds until the until halftime here. Yeah, you guys probably are already at halftime. He got yeah. in front of us. But we are going to refresh our stream. At halftime, see what happens. See if we can um get a little bit more caught up. Hey, how we're streaming the game? It's, it's an internet connection, so you know we got pauses, freezes. Any yeah. any slight hiccup will put you behind the live forever. Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus the live, the live is, is behind. You know, of course, it's not instant. What I'm saying right now, I already said it if, like some seconds before you did it. <laughs> so it's like a double delay. But we're still here. Willie351 said so this legit look like varsity playing middle school right now. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely a mismatch I in every way possible. School. But Alabama has looked like you expected them to look. The only concerns probably are the offensive line right now. Texas is going to be a, bit, a, a better test. Is what many expect. So we'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll check in the Texas game while we're on this break. Halftime, 41 zip. Bama looking like Bama. Let's see what Nick Saban's talking about. Big little team.
We're listening to Nick Saban. saying some normal stuff. Have time. Trying to get Steven in here. Appreciate y'all joining in. TDA watch party. Like I was saying before, we have the post game show after the game with Mike McCoy, former Alabama wide receiver, BCS national champion, and Justin Riley, host of the Bama Standard every Tuesday here on Touch Alabama's YouTube channel. They will be having the post-game show right after the game, and they might have some surprise guests show up. And it's a call-in show. So after the game, you want to give your thoughts, express your thoughts, have questions, you can call in to that show right after the game. They will be uh, we'll be hopping off, and they'll be hopping on right after. So stay tuned for that. We're going to see if Steven's going to call in. Uh, before we take a break, we are going to take a break here at halftime and we'll be back a little before the game kicks back off. But make sure you stick around. We're going to give Steven a little bit to get, see if he gets situated to an area. I know yep. he said the uh, connection be wonky in the press box. Yeah, but I can talk away talk about some of my takeaways a little bit um from that first half. Defensive front looks solid. The defense is showing signs that it could be as good as expected, but a lot has to be seen. That that interior of that defensive line looks really good to me. Justin Borgby has flash, Byron Young has flash, Jaheim Otis has had some nice plays in terms of creating some penetration by Young. Will Anderson is Will Anderson. He has been Will Anderson ever since he has gotten to Tuscaloosa. And it's another great game by him. Dallas Turner has not gotten home yet, but he has created some pressure. The secondary hasn't really been tested. I haven't seen – there hasn't been a lot of passes that Utah State have been able to get off. They probably completed probably four or five passes, if that. A lot of a good blitzing from them. Yeah. So the um, secondary. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I think Alabama's defense has played um defense at front played solid as expected. So hard to judge them against Utah State, though. I think there's a there's a lot of mismatch in terms of the talent. So we, I think there's a lot to be seen on the offensive side of football. Passing is great. Bryce Young is Bryce Young. I think these wide receivers are pretty solid. But again, I guess you have to take it with a grain of salt as well because it is Utah State. So we'll see what happens next week with next week with them. But they look to be. In a really good position, having great um, chemistry so far. So, right now, we are waiting on Stephen M. Smith to, to call in. He's live in Bryant Denny Stadium. And, of course, when you're at the game, sometimes you get to see a lot that we don't see. Of course, the camera follows yeah. the football. So, he gets to see a little bit more than we see. Especially the sideline, like he said, Gibbs does not seem to be hurt. He's on the side. And we got our uh, ass assistant video producer. Eli Walker out at the game just sent me some exclusive clips so I'll be uploading those uh, the team walking out the tunnel he is on the field getting coverage so we got the team walking out already uploaded some shorts if you want to go check that out on the channel pregame warm-ups I'll be putting these up during halftime. But once again, thank you for tuning in. TDA Watch Party. Welcome to the chat. Coleman YJW. Welcome to the chat. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We have complete coverage of Alabama football, especially on the games. We have the watch party here during the game. We got the post game show after the game. We got the coverage, post game coverage with Stephen M. Smith on Mondays. We got the Sunday podcast with the Bama Elite also covering the game the day after the game. We got uh, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday. That's in my own words with Stephen M. Smith. We got the process with Justin Smith scouting and recruiting analysts covering everything recruiting with Alabama football. We also have entertainment 
news notes we got uploads of shorts behind the scenes stuff stuff you haven't seen inside information what's going on everything so just subscribe if you are an alabama football fan to stay up to date yeah be sure to go ahead and subscribe a lot of great recruiting information is going to be coming out um on the next episode of the process and also i think in, in the coming days because uh, we've been doing a lot of reaction highlight videos with guys i've been able to hit the road and see have two great ones coming out with james smith and quay russo two top targets for alabama two five-star prospects like i said james smith is an entertaining guy so he is really entertaining a dominant performance by him if you are an Alabama fan this is a guy who you want to have on your team in the future a nasty defense alignment physical guy he really showed that out and you guys showed it off you guys are going to see that on that video Quay Russo looked really good as well his is going to be really nice saw Jalen and Bakway Alabama's five-star athlete commit in 2024 class on Friday after watching James put through on Thursday have content from M. Bakway and his teammate Mario Craver four-star wide receiver so we have a lot of recruiting content on the way a lot of content in general on the way analysis from this game as well so stay locked in to our youtube channel for sure and those videos are really good justin is out there we got live reactions to um what's going on with him on the field and i i personally think it's a good way to show what you're really getting as far as um these recruits going to alabama like what what how are they really in a game live like you can have a huddle film you can look great on huddle film that's all your highlights but throughout a game how do you look and you can see more like uh check out the keon keely one yeah i think the keon keely one is a perfect example of that but yeah be sure to check out those videos yeah. we want to give you guys those reactions we do our own independent recruiting ratings and rankings we'll basically rate rank guys only verbally committed to alabama so in these videos we want to take you guys behind the scenes see our evaluation process the fact that we are watching these guys play in person like john said you watch a huddle those are highlights what about the low lights? so we want to see everything yeah. that you bring to the table for keely was just a perfect example of that i saw his highlights i knew he was a great pass rusher but in this game he was tested a little bit because it seemed game planned against him the ball was going away from him i think he has some room to grow in terms of a technical standpoint in terms of him impacting the game when a team is running the football away from him still having an impact on the game i think he has to develop a little bit more but he still is a great prospect still should be a highly ranked prospect great size great length that size is verified now that we saw him in person but we want to take you guys behind the scenes and see what we do when we get on the road the fact that we're actually out there in person doing evaluations we want to take you guys behind the scenes with that exactly and we have uh we have steven smith on the line here let me make sure this is correct here all right yeah we got steven smith steven what's going on man doing good how, how you guys feeling What's going on? What you uh, what you seeing out there? What's your uh, halftime report? Well, right now, I mean, guys, it, it looks like Christ Young building that chemistry with this group of, of young receivers. We knew in the off season the question would be, you know, how could Bryce Young work that chemistry? But Trey Sean Holden, Kobe Prentice, Jermaine Burton. I mean, all of these guys are stepping up. Isaiah Bond with the catch in the first half. Miles Kinselman and tied in with the catch. So Bryce Young literally targeting everybody, showing you he's got the chemistry with all of these guys. Awesome. You you said that um, Gibbs was fine. I know people were concerned he was limping, I think. He did. He did come back in the game, John. He did have a carry down here uh, by the goal line where I am. So he did come back in the game for a couple of carries. He is okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was saying that, um, you know, this team looks like what we expected. You know, you can't really say too much yet, but the team is looking solid all around. A lot of um, glad to see the freshmen out there. Kobe Prince is having a huge game. Uh, Jaheim Otis looking pretty quick on the field. Uh, you got anything else for us? Well, 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 well right now, I, I think the main thing is just, uh, you know, number one, uh, how uh, how complete Bryce Young is playing so far right now. But then also, number two, uh, 
the fact that this defense, even though it has not sacked the quarterback yet, John and Justin, it's stifling Utah State in the sense of the Aggies can't get anything established right now. They only have 58 yards of total offense, only two first downs. So defense is playing sound, but offensively, Trayshawn Holden, I mentioned in lack of drop that he would be the leading receiver. He's got five catches for 70 yards. Holden's time has come, and he's out here balling. Okay, yeah, I had that wrong. I was saying you said Kobe Prentice. It was Trayshawn Holden. That's who you had as a, the leading it was, receiver. It, it was Trayshawn Holden. Yeah, yeah, okay, got you. Well, appreciate that. Um, If you um, if that's all you got, we will – well, actually, it would be cool if you can call him to the postgame show. I'm not, well, you got the press conference to go to. But, yeah, appreciate your analysis. Um, I know you're having fun out there. Season opener football finally back. So oh, we'll get, guys, one, guys, one more thought here. Justin Aboigby Sr. is having a strong game out here, especially against the run. He is filling gaps. He is closing in on tackles. Justin Aboigby is having a good game out here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He He's really standing out. That's what me and Justin were saying. We didn't really expect him to, to be like this, but he's, he's really standing out. No doubt at all, but I, I got appreciate that. I'll be back with you guys for post game. I right, appreciate you, man. Have fun. All right. So yeah, Stephen Smith, right there, and we are going to take a break here for halftime, and we will be back closer to when the game is starting. So stay locked in with us, TDA Watch Party. John Ivory, producer, Justin Smith, scouting, recruiting analyst. We will be back. Get your snacks. I might get a snack too. But stay tuned.
back. Back for the third quarter. I think Jameer Gibbs is about to go. Jameer Gibbs is gone. Got taken down. Jameer Gibbs with the run to open the gate. I'm uploading this video here of the team coming out the tunnel to the channel. Y'all can watch that. Yo, was he down? Yeah, he down. Elbow. Yeah. He ain't elbow down. He's he down. down. Oh. It's crazy speed. At least speed. You got that man. speed where you can hit the hole with so much acceleration. Yeah, but Alabama has struggled here today running the football inside the red zone, specifically within five yards. All right, got to upload it. All right, we good, we good. Okay, second and goal for Alabama. That's a huge run by Already. Jameer Gibbs. Bryce Young gonna drop back. He's gonna, I think he's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Oh, in. he running in. He said, "This me. This mine." Bryce Young runs it in for his first rushing touchdown of the season. Six touchdown of the game. Like I said, we're a little behind. We're streaming the game. We're using an app to stream. So yeah, but I think I think that's it for Alabama's first team. Yeah, don't take. Yeah, don't take him out. Yeah, I think the defense may get another drive. We can get we can get some Jalen Miro up in here. He was like, "Huh? For me? Sure." <laughs> he said disrespect <laughs> or respect. Yeah, trying to sit. I think sit the yeah, first Riker. team now. Maybe you give he dance yo. <laughs> right, Sean, I having a blast. Bryce Young living his best life personality tonight. Personality out here. Yeah. <laughs> he got hundred yards rushing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that's yeah, what I was he, saying. Heisman campaign number two. Yeah. Cause who else gonna do that? What's up with this Steph Curry? With this weird Steph Curry um, comparison? Well, you remember he said Steph Curry his favorite player, and he said I think he said he translates some of his. Steph Curry game to his football game. Because uh, I remember he was playing basketball. Yeah, he got basketball background. He said Steph Curry's favorite player. Translate some basketball stuff to the court. Yeah, I mean, Jalen Miro is getting warmed up. Young giving him some words of advice. I think, yeah, I think that's it for Young. We may see this wide receiver. I think in the past we've seen like the starting wide receivers go with the backup guy for a couple of drives a couple of snaps so it makes it that but it looks like we're gonna see some backups on the offensive side of football from here on out yeah you might see some ty simpson you never know yeah i think we yeah yeah i think we got definitely see some ty simpson may like four quarter yeah yeah i think the way it looks not jayla miro may get a quarter ty simpson may get a quarter big tim smith I think Alabama's defensive starters are still in the game. You want, you want to give them one, one, one drive in the second half. So the score predictions are getting close already in the third beginning of the third quarter. Most people score predictions like 50 plus. I, th I thought the expectations would be a shutout. You have Alabama's yeah. starters are in the game. I didn't expect it to be like close to 50 this early nice play by dallas turner dallas, and Jalen moody. moody turner did a great job of tackling the running back and moody read the, moody had the quarterback on that read option look when you play you play football like at this point what are you thinking as a football player you're down 48 0 in the third quarter Playing against Alabama, like think about going home. <laughs> what do you, you think about? I'm thinking about <laughs> after the game. What are you trying? Like, when, to how steal? can we get this over as soon as possible? 
But I'm you're still trying, of course. But in the back of your mind, like, this, I hope this doesn't take trying long. To, trying to play the play. You're still trying to play. But you're in the back of your mind, like, you hope this doesn't, the agony you know, doesn't last too long. They got a long game, though. Pete Golden got them signals. What he just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice coverage by Kool Aid McKinstry. Was that so some physicality. Was a bit handsy. Yeah. <laughs> but he got away with it. That about two flags right there. Nobody saw them. Third and 11 for Utah State. Most likely the last drive we see Alabama starters. Yo, we talk about Jaheim Otis, of course, he had like this crazy transformation. But so many, so many of the other guys have great transformation too in terms of adding on muscle. Kool Aid McKinstry yeah. is one of those guys who looks like a totally different player in terms of his frame compared to him coming out of high school. I actually saw him, I think, a couple of months ago at Coach L's camp in Birmingham. He walks up to me and, yo, he, 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 I shook his hand and he gave me that. It was like a strong pull in. I was like, <laughs> you, you, you didn't have that when you was in high school. Yeah. Yeah, so he's been yeah, in you a, used to seeing him yeah, in, yeah, in he, high school. Yeah, he looks like a totally different guy in terms of his frame, shoulder. Just shows the transformation that happens also when you are a bit on the smaller side and you add on some yeah. muscle in to your frame. And you 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 can really tell when someone has when their body changed when you've seen them. Yeah. At one point, you haven't seen them in a long time, but if you're around them, you yeah. can't tell as much. But yeah, Justin saw him in high school. I think I think most Alabama fans now you see him. You see him as this kind of muscular guy now, cause this. Yeah. Ever since his first game playing, he, ever since enrolling in Alabama, he has continued to gain weight, continue to add on muscle. TDA watch party. We up in here. Damon Davis, welcome to the chat. Is that what is Leary? Is it a true or red shirt freshman? He's not a true freshman. If he is still a freshman, he's a red shirt freshman. It's, I'm not 100 percent sure if he's a red shirt first man. Nah, I know. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's probably got red shirt because a couple of these guys got red, red shirt that people probably didn't even realize. Deontay Lawson is a red shirt freshman. Um, Terry Arnold is a red shirt freshman. Ian Jackson is a red, red shirt freshman. The only linebacker from that last year class who isn't a freshman anymore is Kendrick Blackshear, and he's he's not a freshman anymore because he wasn't able to get red shirt because he played on special teams so much. So he's actually a sophomore. Yo, Kendrick, yo, Chris, yo, Christian Leary is not a true freshman or a freshman. He's a sophomore. He says he's a sophomore on the road tie. Yeah, he probably, he probably played too many games because he was the, uh, the emergency running back at one point. I think in, yeah. in you, in once you play over four games, you can't be red shirted. Says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, oh, so he played, seven played seven games. games last season. So, yeah, he couldn't get red shirted. But on the roster, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's actually on depth chart. He's listed before Isaiah Bunn, I think. Oh, is. Matter of fact, no, he's not. I, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure what no, he. I think he was. Falls I think on he was the, the third chart. One. I think he was. He was under. Cause I was surprised at that. Yeah, but it's third and eleven for Utah State. Will Anderson rushing from the edge. Will Anderson gets to the run after rushing from the edge. Another great Will Anderson. Will Anderson, Will Anderson be crunk. <laughs> Another three and out. I think uh, how many they got? Fourth and eleven. Utah State will punt it. To Kool Aid McKentry. Utah's one and nine for third downs, third down efficiency. Man, they got they got a long game, man. Yeah, this is gonna be. I got a feeling it's gonna be a long second half, probably. Yeah, but Notre Dame, Ohio State is trailing Notre Dame at the moment, ten to seven. A lot of people expect Ohio State to um, win that one. Yeah. Jalen Miro is in at quarterback for Alabama. 
Patrick Dodd updating us from the press box. Said Jalen Miro out there. Yeah, Jalen Miro's in the game, which is what we expected. Wonder who he's throwing the football to. Jalen Milro. And he, he's a red shirt freshman because he got listed as a freshman. He must be a red shirt freshman. Yeah, he's playing like two or three games. I yeah, and, and this is why I expect it. He's, going, he's out there with the first team offense. Just him at quarterback. So we get to see him with the first team. Going to hit Jermaine Burton Quick in the pass flat. Jermaine Burton. First Burton down. picks up the first down, 10 yards. A good, nice play to get Miro comfortable in the game. Easy pass to Jermaine Burton. Gave Burton the ball in space. And yeah. I think it's good for Miro's development. He getting an opportunity to work with the first team, not yeah. just thrown in there with other guys who don't get an opportunity to play. He's working with the first team. So we get to see what Miro can do with these guys. You never you know, know where you may need that backup quarterback. And I want to see more passing from him. You know, last year, most of the time, he was running like every play. Now, he was throwing some crazy passes in the A game, like some wild passes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like throwing into the crowd, but yeah, he had a lot of good ones, too. Yeah, that's what, that's what we want to see from Miro in this game. See Trey Sanders still on sideline, getting close to Nick Saban. Looks as if he's trying to – looks as if we're going to see Sanders a little Let bit here spin. in the second half. What's that, booby mouth? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to win? Let Trey spin. <laughs> Oh, put me in. I'm trying to spin. <laughs> Is that how you get playing time? Like, get close to the sideline? <laughs> get close to the coach. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> Just follow the coach around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those usually, those usually guys who never who don't do anything at practice. Like, as soon as the game. As soon as put the your game, helmet on, follow the yeah, coach follow around. the coach around. Stick to the coach as quickly as possible. You want, you want to be the first person he looks at when, he's, <laughs> when he turns around. Stop following me, all right? Jalen Miro setting up. Jalen Miro drops Hand back, hands it off, it off to Jace McClellan. McClellan with Jace, a nice run nice outside. Run, yeah, Alabama. Yeah, Dang. I'm nice not sure. Run. I heard a lot of pads clacking. Pads were popping on that play, but right. Alabama has, has had much of his running success running outside. Yeah, the outside run has been good. Yeah, running outside, Alabama has had success, but. Yeah, Darren Dacourt came in there and hit everybody. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure he made James McClellan fall. He just came in and hit everybody. We just propped the door open, too, so you might see a little uh, moth coming here or something fly, or fly over the screen. Yeah, Jalen Miro drops back. Patient. He hits Jermaine Burton with a – what a move by Burton. But nice tackle by um, Utah Jermaine State. Jermaine Burton trying to juke people out there. Yeah, a yeah, nice, couple nice throws by Jalen Miro. This will, yeah. That is what – most people want to see from him. I just what I want to see from him. See if he can consistently throw the football. Be patient in the pocket. Showing off some good pocket presence. Not running like you said. Um, what we saw last season, like he's just getting it. He's running football. I just run with it. But he's been patient, going through his reads a little bit here. Jalen Miro's on drop back, going through his. Come back to the screenplay to Jace McClellan. McClellan's going to run into the end Jace zone. For the touchdown. Miro connects with McClellan for the touchdown. That's, that's McClellan's second receiving touchdown. Another one of those stats you probably didn't expect to, didn't expect to see. McClellan with his second receiving touchdown. Miro's second passing touchdown of Miro's first passing touchdown of the game. First passing touchdown of the season. Yo, we might be. Are, are, we, are we in front of y'all now? I don't think so. I don't know. I think we were a little bit closer than last time. Rockers I think we were a little bit field. closer than we were. Rocker's kicking right now. Did he kick on y'all screen yet? Well, he just kicked it. Yeah, student section getting empty. I got to try something. Hold this on this stream up. If not, we'll come back. Everybody getting a little piece of the pie. Yeah, Bryce Young get excited to see Jalen Miro score a touchdown. Bryce Young is out here chilling, like. Right. 
All right, there we go. Yeah, so what, what, what we're seeing from Alabama, like, it's what expected. It is what was expected. So I guess the question marks come is how consistently can they play to this level against better competition? I think we're going to get the real answers about this team next week. Yeah, definitely. This game was good to see if if they even lived up to the hype or to what they were supposed to be based on the talent on the team. And we see that, you know, they they are living up to it. So now we can see if um, they can be consistent with it with other levels of competition. Yeah, and the offensive line definitely has some things to figure out. Yeah, They've yeah, been yeah, solid yeah. at times. Bryce Young has had time to throw the football and pass protection. But run blocking has not – has left a lot to be desired, specifically when you're running in the interior. But running outside, they look really good. And you, you've you seen um what Jameer Gibbs can do when you give him a, a little bit of space, just a little opening, because when he exploded for that big run, it was just a small opening, he saw a hole, yeah. quickly accelerated through it. So if the offensive line can consistently do that, create plays like that, they can have a lot of success in terms of running in the interior. But running outside has had the most success. If you remember, he did that in the A day. He found a small hole. He was gone. So he's doing the same thing here tonight. The TDA watch party. Like I said, we got that post game show after the game. It's gonna be lit. We got Mike McCoy. Mike McCoy. He, he doesn't hold back. So it's gonna be really good. He's gonna give his honest opinion, even though there's not a lot of bad stuff to say. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be really good. Justin Riley, Mike McCoy after the game, post-game show, call-in show. This is where you can call in and give your thoughts. The number will be on the screen. And print, and um, Mike McCoy has actually trained a couple of guys on all of roster right now. So he can give you some extra insight because he's trained and worked with these guys individually, specifically Kobe Prentice. We did yeah. a great video on him um, before he enrolled at Alabama, him working out. With Mike McCoy um, in Bessemer, and in that video, Mike basically said they said that um, Kobe Prentice was going to come in and make an immediate impact just based on what he can bring to the table. Go back and watch the video when you get an opportunity. Yeah, but Mike McCoy can give you that extra insight. Some of the guys he has trained who are currently on Alabama rosters are guys like Kobe Prentice, a starting right receiver for Alabama tonight. Also, Jeremiah Alexander, who's a reserve outside linebacker, who we might see tonight because he is listed on Alabama's depth chart. Yeah, and he said that um, if you watch the video Justin shot where he visited Mike McCoy and Kobe Prentice um, training together, he said that he can immediately go and get playing time because he's elite and he can take somebody's spot. And that's what that's what he did. Yeah, out there starting going in. Yeah, Utah State is with their went to a third went to a different quarterback again. They're down to the third quarterback of the night. Utah State second and six. Alabama's defense is definitely still working. They want to shut out. This is why the starters are still in the game. Yeah. The starters may be in the game to early fourth quarter. Maybe in there for a good amount of fourth quarter. They want to shut out. They don't want Utah State to score. That's the goal now. When it's in reach, you got to go after it. Yeah, man. It's what happened at the end of last year. Go and get a shutout for the first game. So, third and five for Utah State is Alabama trying to go after the Shut out. You have Eli Ricks and Kool-Aid McKintree. No, actually, Eli Ricks and Terry on Arnold are the um, cornerbacks. As that cornerback battle continues to go on, Malachi Moore, Brian Branch, as expected, feels like they probably have played 60-40. Utah throwing a bomb. Nice coverage by Malachi Moore as I was talking about him. Yeah, but Malachi Moore and Brian Branch feel like they'll play like 60-40 with um, Branch taking most of the snaps, but... It's been split it pretty yeah. evenly with them at that position, which where we have seen the last three years. Yeah, Malachi Moore going back to those cornerback roots. It's really good in pass coverage for a guy who's technically a safety um, type of a position, but he has a lot of experience at cornerback. Played cornerback for most of his time here at Trustful High School. Only moved to safety when he was a senior. Fourth yeah, and no. five, Kool-Aid McKinstry back deep. Yeah, who that for life? 
Chris made a good point. Um, Kobe Prentice is wearing Mike McCoy's old number, number eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. Um, I saw. Um, well, I think it was Facebook or Instagram. Mike, Mike McCoy gave him a shout out, saying making the eighty look good. I'm pretty sure yeah. him training him had something to do with that. Um, selection. Yeah, that's cool right there. Yeah, at this point in the game, if you're still watching the game, the commentary is going to get kind of crazy. If you, they go, they're, they're going to talk about a little bit of everything. But Kool-Aid McKinsey is going to feel the ball. Nice move. But great, great punt coverage by Utah State. This is what John Madden used to do all the time, though. I think that he's trying to be like John Madden. <laughs> he's been drawing stuff and talking about random stuff. Yeah, I think at this point you got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do. It's like nothing else to talk about. Usually, um, <laughs> usually as for these broadcasters, they usually have stuff in the chamber, just in case it's a blowout. Because I remember I was contacted by CBS when Tool talking about Laura was playing, and I, I went to Talia talking about Laura the game the game before the day before. They wanted to get my footage just in case it was a blowout. Just so oh, like really? if if at one point um they can, we have to go to that. It actually turned out to be a blowout. And they showed Talia talking about Laura's um highlight film. Oh, okay. Yeah, they talking about they got sandwiches um prepared. <laughs> talking about what you gonna eat for dinner, all that. Nick Saban is still looking like Jalen Miro's second drive of the it's night. Not over. See, Kobe Princess is on the sideline, so maybe we see a couple more reserve. I think it's the reserve offense with Kool Aid, not with Kool Aid. The reserve offense with. Miro this drive. You got Seth Mc, Seth McLaughlin at center, Damian George at okay, tackle. There goes Seth. Um tell me that's Amari Kite. I want to nice. say Tom Brackenmeyer. I think that's Amari nice Kite. Coverage I think that's Amari Kite at left tackle. Guy who from Thompson High School in Alabaster, who we haven't seen a lot during this time. Alabama. Isaiah, Isaiah Bunn getting a nice nice amount of playing time tonight. That was some good blocking by Seth. I don't know. Yeah, if let's see. It's it. the second group offensive line. Tyler Booker in at right guard. It was too high. Center self McLaughlin. Left tackle is Amari Kite. Trey Sanders is in the game alongside Jalen Miro. Miro is gonna throw it to Christian Leary. A screen to Leary. Leary goes for like five yards, but Trey Sanders in the, is in the game now. Miles Kitzelman, Damian George at the right tackle. The second string offense. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's why things are not looking the best for Trey Sanders at the moment because he wasn't included in that first rotation at all. Yeah. Even Rodell Williams was included in that first rotation, got some snaps, but he didn't get any snaps until the second string had to come on the field. That's why people are saying like some people think he should transfer. But nice catch by Sanders. With a nice throw. Sanders with a Sanders. little bit of a hurdle. A, a little bit of a slight hurdle over the defender catching the ball out of the backfield. Yeah, we we seen some growth. The Jalen Miro last year was running that. Yeah. Yeah, kept his eyes downfield, even though he's getting pressure, working outside the pocket, dumped it off to his running back, who became a safety valve for him. Oh, it was a nice hurdle. It was a mini hurdle. It was a nice yeah, hurdle. Yeah, it was a nice hurdle. Even though last time they probably was telling him to run, he probably would have passed. Yeah, he does a run, read option, and oh, go. He's trying to bowl people over like he's running back. Another thing I said, he got that size and that so he gonna be able to do that, but you'd rather him not do that. You wouldn't that's so rare to see a quarterback. Yeah, he can doing do that. that. Jalen Hurts could do it too, but Jalen Hurts didn't do it a lot. But yeah. <laughs> yo, you can't you can't be doing that. Yeah, you need to chill out. He he was still a quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He a football player. Jalen Miro says he's a football player. Like I don't I don't to me that's not entertaining to for me to see him do that. Maybe once, but that's it. Oh, he hurt him. I think he, he probably got cramp. Yo, Cam Newton used to do it a lot. Cam Newton, but Cam Newton is a different type of beast, a different, especially at the college level. One of these more my iconic ones, he trucked. I remember he trucked the Arkansas defender going into the end zone. Oh, yeah. Is that the dude you trucked? I'm not sure. Probably not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Twenty seventeen. Why are they showing, Why they showing <laughs> They're showing a random clip of Nick Saban getting out of a, a helicopter with Mike Loxley. I, I think they wanted to talk about the fact that Nick Saban um, has a helicopter. 
So they picked the yeah yeah the the, the oh. commentary is getting um they struggling right now because they they're not in Palm Beach they're not talking yeah about it, it made no sense to show that yeah the, the commentary is struggling <laughs> right now yeah yeah Jalen Mills on drop back oh day to throw a Ooh, bomb nice throw oh intercepted off. too much air on it picked off Jalen Mills Utah State off. intercepted Jalen Mills ball. It was a nice throw. It wasn't a it bad pretty. decision. Too much air on the ball. Too much air. Too much air on it. Yeah. That ball was floating for a very long time. Dang. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. It was. It wasn't a bad decision because Mir- Leary looked to be open, but too much air. Way too much air on it. That's just. That's just bad for Miro to get an interception. Yeah. To be honest, but that. That play looks a lot better than some of the throws I saw in A Day. Even though even though it had too much air on it, some of those throws in A Day was worse than that. Dang. Well, Miro got the interception, man. Uh, I wanted to see him throw a long pass. The pass looked great in the air. I like that spiral on it, but yeah, I think it was too much that air on that was, one. It was beautiful. Square his shoulder. I don't know if that was Milro fault though. Yeah, it was a bit, but Leary so yeah, Leary so fast. Also, yeah, Leary's like a really fast player too. It was a bit underthrown. Nice undercut. Yeah, it's probably just uh, a matter of uh, uh, warming well, up to the receiver and knowing. Yo, is he is he going cross saying? Hmm. <laughs> I ain't see his mouth. He was. I'm talking about he's he's really happy about the interception. Yeah, yeah, he was crunk. Solid play. I don't think they're gonna do nothing with it, but just looks bad for Miro. But it's all good. He got a touchdown in there, or a a, hand, a toss. Yo, this is something that this is something I think Steven talked about. Um, Brian Branch and Malachi Moore in the field at the same time. We rarely yeah, see yeah. this. Great interior push by Jamiro Burrows and who else is in there? Um, is that DJ Dale? Dale. Yeah, Alabama has a new set of edge rusher, one new edge rusher, and Quandarius Robinson out of Jackson Nolan High School in Birmingham, rushing from the edge. Chris Roswell is rushing from the other side, former five star. Man, I thought I thought Quandarius Robinson was gonna leave, but he, he stuck it out. Yeah, I think he's gonna have a chance next season once Will Anderson most likely going to the NFL. That dude look it looked like he fast, but it looks like he just his leg is short. Yeah. Like yeah, I think like um I think the Utah State how many first down Utah State have? It has to be a yeah. few. They have uh two. Two first downs? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it say. Yo, <laughs> that was Utah State second for second first down. Hit the Bama has twenty seven. Utah State second first down. Yeah, they haven't they haven't been able to get to them the first downs. This this is first time they're moving up the field. Now Alabama's gonna need to bolt bolt up a little bit here if they want to continue to shut out because Utah State is getting into field goal territory. Bama has not made it to a fourth down yet. Or has an attempt yeah. at a fourth down. Second and six. Quandarius Robinson, Chris Roswell, rushed from the edge. Burroughs, DJ Dale inside. Deontay Lawson in the game, an inside linebacker, the only linebacker. Uh, Brian Branch coming on the blitz. Makes the tackle. Close to the first down. Man, this dude trying to be John Madden. He said he just want to draw on the screen. That's what he said. Yeah, that's true. They, they brought on Madden. He said it was a Madden tribute. Oh, that's what I was going to say. He's trying to be like John Madden. 
He tried to hurdle. But DJ Whole Dale defense. met him. Dale flashing here now. Everybody has flashed at least here. Okay, fourth down. Utah State is going to punt it. This is their 12th failed third down. Yeah, Kool-Aid McKintree back deep. I mean, they're 10th. Utah State is going to punt it. They gets it off. Looks as if this is not going to be returnable. Try to down it like at the 8. The fans are still there, it looks like, for the, mo main, for the most part. Students are not. <laughs> I think they're going to keep Miro. I don't know. The yeah, yeah, score keep, is so high. Yeah, you keep Miro. You keep Miro to the third. He needs to get, the, you need to get these reps. I think he's in a better position in his development compared to Ty Simpson, just based on what we have heard. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think you um, keep Miro in for a couple more drives. I think Simpson has to get like the real mop-up duty. Like late, probably mid yeah. to late fourth quarter. You're probably going to be handing the yeah. ball off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the watch party. We still in here. John Ivory producer here at TDA. Justin Smith, Scott, and recruit analyst. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe hit the like button. button. Subscribe to the notification bell. Notify me drop content on our YouTube channel. Okay, we got 86 likes. I mean, 89 likes. So hit the like button if you haven't already. Definitely appreciate it. Let's go. What else we got? Metcraft is in the chat. What's going on, Metcraft? Welcome back. Willie three five one said Miro Miro needs throwing reps. Bad. Yeah. Michael Dickerson, welcome to the chat. Yeah, we got uh Oh, I thought that was a message never mind. But yeah. Bama is up fifty five to zero. They're obviously trying to keep scoring, so we'll see. I'm ready to see some um well, I don't know if Ty Simpson will throw that much. Yeah, yeah, I don't expect like I but, don't expect um, him to throw it a lot. I want I want Milro to get a, a passing touchdown in here. He got one. He got one to um. Well, like a like a deep pass. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Well, I want to see Leary get one. Whoever throws to Leary, I want to see him get one. Thing is hard for Leary because he he's so good, but he's it's it's just so much depth. But he's a a high caliber receiver. They got the game lights too. Everybody got the nighttime game lights. Georgia State, South Carolina, twenty-eight fourteen, South Carolina. We're first, back. First and ten. Jalen Murrow's gonna hand off to Trey Sanders. Sanders running to football for three to four yards. Some more freshmen in the game. 84 Shaz Preston. He ends up now Terrence Shaz. Ferguson in the game. Yeah, I think Tyler Booker's Alabama's gonna go super deep this game. <laughs> Guys who are not even listed on the depth chart are going to hit the field tonight. I might see a Brockemeyer get out there. I think it can go to it could go that deep. <laughs> Got Damian George, Amari Kite, Tyler Booker, Isaiah Bunn going in motion, working back out. He's going to hit Chaz Preston. Preston going to get close to getting their um, first down. Chaz Is that Preston? Preston? Wait, that's not Preston. That's um, Emmanuel Henderson. Emmanuel Henderson, wide receiver. Running back turn receiver. But that's Henderson. I, I was looking at, thinking about Prince. That was Henderson. Oh, Henderson is actually in the game. 
I don't know what made me think about um Shaz Preston. Henderson looked like a wide receiver. <laughs> he did not like a running back at all. So he definitely has to yeah. put on some weight. Yeah, yeah. Because them running backs built. Okay, Alabama's going to drop back here. Oh, that could have got picked off. Kisselman with another um, reception. Uh, Kisselman got, he got, he got whacked. He got whacked on that play. A little banged up like he's going to go to the sideline. Maybe we see Amari in the black or Elijah Brown, one of those young wide receivers. I think, yeah, I think we saw. Was that who went in the game? Was that Danny Lewis? I, ain't yeah, I think Danny, yeah, Danny Lewis is in the game. Freshman tight end out of um, Louisiana. Comes in at tight end. Lewis up the up – the, I thought Lewis – what a hit. Ooh. I thought Lewis was open right there, though. He hit it to Kendrick Law. Kendrick Law got hit in the stomach. I think like him hit hey, the man, stomach. Utah trying to hit man, hard, man. Y'all, I see Dan Lewis is open right there, I thought. Yeah, yeah, he was. That was yeah, hard. solid hit. Ain't no protection on the stomach if you ain't got no um real protector. Tobias said Miro is dangerous to everyone's health. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why you fair catch y'all in space? A bit of a flare up. Who's number eight? Oh, Devontae Smith. Number zero. He number eight. He just looks like that. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> we ain't got, Batman don't got number zero. Hey, Devontae Smith. Not the wide receiver. He's not back now. <laughs> Defensive back. I wonder how the stadium looking like. Do people leave. Yeah, they probably left now. E easy on Steven and Pat. I know that. Well, there you go. <laughs> they asked you. It's hard oh, to tell. Still up in there. It's, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it looks looks. It look like the top still there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, the student sections that one are, are in the back, so you know that's kind of thinned out. Yeah, but it doesn't look as deep Probably as Probably because it's the first game, you know, football back. If, if, if this was, like, in the season, mid-season or something, they probably would have been low. <laughs> yeah, Otis and Iborgby, the interior defense lineman on this drive. Nice play by Otis. I heard. I, I guess they heard. I guess he heard him, them talking about him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're by they're by his best player of the game. Yeah. Stood the offensive lineman up. The offensive lineman couldn't move him at all. They stood him up, got into his chest, throw him out of the way to get to the um, running back. I mean, three forty six with twenty one point eight body fat percentage. I probably got more body fat percentage than that. <laughs> Miro, I mean, Otis was another great play. Otis got into the um, backfield that time. Forced to yeah. play to Deontay Lawson. Yeah, he's looking quicker than I expected on but the But, yeah. End of the third quarter, Alabama up 55-0. One quarter away from a possible shutout. That's why I, a lot of these stars are still in the game. Justin Boyd be still in the game. Jaheim Otis still in the game. Justin Boyd be still in the game. Chris Roswell play a lot with that first group. He's still in the game. Got to throw them foes up. Fourth quarter. Throw them foes up. He typed the four. <laughs> yeah, Damon Davis, who's number 91. 91, Jaheim Otis, four-star defensive lineman at Columbia High School in Mississippi. Guy who has really got a lot of talk because he climbed a depth chart as the co-starter with um, DJ Dale at nose tackle, but he, is, he has also gained a lot of talk because of the transformation he made. Like ESPN has talked about, he came in weighing more than 400 pounds. Now he weighs 346, which is a, I mean, an amazing um, transformation. I actually, when I saw him at Columbia High School during the senior season, he didn't look um, 400 pounds, but again, he's about 6'5", 6'6", six, 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 so his 400 pounds looks a little bit different from a guy who probably a little bit shorter than him who carried a lot of that bad weight, but he still had a lot of bad weight, dropped it. He's at 346 right now. 
Yeah. And even Nick Saban, um, he's one of the first names Nick Saban will make will name if you talk about people doing well on the line. So he's a, he's had a lot of talk, and he's uh he was starting on the depth chart, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, co-starter with DJ Dell and to be honest. That's why the depth chart is sometimes misleading, especially for this game, because he was listed as a starter, but he did not get on the field first. Justin Boyby was not listed as a starter at all, but I think he, I'm pretty sure he, he was on the field first on the first um, drive. Him and Byron Young were on the field together in, in the set that they are in. So the depth chart isn't the depth chart for every specific um, formation. So yeah. um, just because the guy is enlisted in the first group doesn't mean he. Probably won't get this first snaps because Justin Boyd got the first snaps. What about Jeremiah Alexander? I haven't seen him. Hey, yeah, Jeremiah Alexander is like the third outside linebacker. He might get in and mop probably up duty. Fourth, probably this quarter we'll probably see some. Probably see a lot more guys this quarter. It's like, flip. yeah, might, we've already seen some surprises. Sorry. Alabama seems to be really open for this matchup in spe in particular. I think they want to get ready for Texas. They know, I think they know Texas is going to be a, a, a tougher opponent, so you want to see who you have. So throw some guys out there who you think Mike can do something and see what happens. I feel that is what happened with Bun. And unfortunately, a guy, a guy who I was really high on, I wasn't really high on Kobe Prince as far as coming in and making an immediate impact. I was higher on Aaron Anderson, but unfortunately, he's dealing with yeah, an yeah, yeah. injury right now. It's look as if they're going to delay his um, college football debut, but yeah, I was really yeah. high on him. I was him. high on him, too. Man, Bama got a lot of depth, man. Yeah, yeah that's one depth. thing I see from this game. It's a lot of depth in a lot of different positions. Like, a defensive line um, seems to have a lot of depth. The secondary seems to have a lot of depth at cornerback. They haven't made a lot of changes at safety. I think those safe those guys at safety are leaders, and I think they have solidified their spot. One of the few positions where we you know the spots are solidified, like with Anderson, Dallas Turner, um, Jordan Battle, and DeMarco Helms. Their spots are solidified, as we've seen in this yeah. game. But Utah, Florida in a tight matchup. Florida about to pull off the upset. Look as if Florida's going to be the team that Georgia has to worry about in the SEC East. A third and six. Oh, we see some changes in the secondary now. Devontae Smith, a defensive back that is, is in the game. I think this is the first time we've seen them in a game. Yeah. Yeah, Devontae Smith, four-star defensive no, I, back coming out of high school. to see how he going to play because he, he just looks so small. Yeah, he has he has put on some weight out of LaSalle High School yeah, in Cincinnati. Yeah, he put on weight. I think I think he's still in the game. Looks as if he's still in the game. Yeah, he's still in the game at the top of the screen. When he first came in, dude, he was so small. I'm like, what, how you going to play? Yeah, Gators about he, to pull he, off the huge upset. Utah number seven, sort of not ranked. Yeah, it looks like Defante Smith is in the game over Jordan Battle. Looks like he's giving Jordan Battle Jordan Battle a rest. Let's see that. Charging. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Devontae Smith, not the Heisman winner, Devontae Smith, but the defensive back, Devontae Smith, out of Cincinnati, Ohio. But Utah State, second and four. He's going to drop back. He's going to hit a wide receiver on a sled. Yeah. Devontae Smith was in coverage. Throw wasn't too good. But. but a lot of these starters are still in the game. You see um, Malachi Moore still in the game. DeMarco Hellum still in the game. Got, got to get a mix. I think you want to shut out. Shut out, you can't just put your whole second team in the game. Trying to try stuff out, you want to shut out. Yeah, if you're trying to keep them at zero. Definitely got to keep some certain people in there. All right, Sean's on, I mean, he's out stays on running football. You get about eight yards. Metcraft said, go new Smitty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they can't call him Smitty. Their name like retired. 
Second and three. It's crazy. Utah yes, State. Something. They're past the 50 yard line right now. On a 45. Oh, Christian Story is in the game. What a hit by Brian Branch. Quandarius Robinson tried to arm tackle the guy, reaching out with his arm. Then made contact first. Outran the arms of Quandarius Robinson. Christian Story was coming out, and Brian Branch made a hit. But Story is in the game now. See Christian Story, the backup safety. Third and one. It's going to be fourth and one. After this stop, you see, I know, yeah, I know, Steven, Steven, what Steven's at the game. We're actually on a super, a really super delay when you consider the actual game because there's a, a, a like a play delay in between like watching the game in, at the stadium and watching it on TV. Yeah, commercials. Steven said something. Yeah, yeah Steven said it was fourth down and one. Before this fourth third oh. down was snap, we you know that's a huge delay in there. So they they will play in front of everybody. Mm. But fourth and one, Utah State. They're gonna get it. Oh, they got the first down. Christian Story eyes on the quarterback. The quarterback, the quarterback took off. Around. I wonder if we we gonna have to come up um, with stuff like the announcers. <laughs> I think this I think this one of this one of the things is this is the down part of calling a game or talking about a game when it gets out of hand so early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the the, the storyline that we are following now, Alabama wants to shut out. They can't let Utah State get too many more yards here. First and yeah, 10 for Utah them, State uh, in Alabama territory. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Ooh, Actually lost Deontay tackle Lawson. for a loss. Deontay lost Jalen Moody. Malachi Moore making some contact in the backfield as well, helping on that tackle, but Moody got most of it. Did a day, on, day in the life on Deontay Lawson. Yeah, be sure to check that out if you want to check on it our out. YouTube also, channel when you get an opportunity. Did one with Malachi Moore as well. It's on our channel if you want to check it out. Day in the life. Uh, of them in high school. Utah State is going to get a flag called on them. Most likely a false start because if they're going to go back, it's going to help Alabama's chances with possibly the shit out. Uh, Jaheem Otis gets called for offsides. Dang. Might be done for the game now. <laughs> we'll take him out. Yo, Florida has completed the upset. 29-26, the Gators pull out the upset on Utah. Napier. Florida has a solid recruiting class. That's on battles with Alabama. If the Gators have a good season, they really can help their recruiting class. Quarter. Uh, he could. If he had more speed, he probably could have caught it. Yeah, I think Christian Story could have caught an interception if he played that a little bit better, but solid. Um defense yeah. for um christian story nice to see story getting the opportunity to get on the fields yeah this isn't a big recruiting weekend for alabama in terms of in terms of visitors have some top underclassmen in campus which on campus which is what you expect for a game like this but they do have four-star wide receiver jalen hill in the 2023 recruiting class officially visiting this weekend down to alabama georgia and texas looks as if going to come down to georgia not Ge alabama and texas for him his final decision announced that commitment later this month. Taking an official visit to Alabama today this weekend. We'll actually be in Texas next weekend when the Crimson Tide roll into town. But Fumble. Broswell with the rip. In Utah. Curry. That's going to be a solid play in terms of the shutout. Yeah. Because you need these guys to go backwards. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but Jalen Hale, four-star wide receiver from Texas, officially visiting Alabama this weekend. We'll officially visit Texas next weekend when the Crimson Tide roll into town. He'll have an opportunity to see Alabama again. When I spoke to him a couple of months ago in terms of what he wanted to look at for his official visit, he did say he wanted to see how Alabama uses their wide receivers. He said that was going to be big for him, how they use their wide receivers. Alabama has not got out the park. They capitalize on that in every way in terms of getting the ball to multiple wide receivers. 
I feel they, are, they definitely have improved their position by getting him on campus in July and getting him on campus this past weekend. So that is a guy to keep your eyes on, especially after this showing during his official visit. Four-star wide receiver Jalen Hale out of Texas, who will be at the Texas Longhorn games against Longhorn game against the Crimson Tide on next Saturday. And Alabama have another opportunity to show what their wide receivers can do again. So there's another recruiting battle to pay attention to. Yeah, I know. I know it's a good look as well for recruits to see Bama mixing guys up because the whole big thing I'm sure other schools use is you can play immediately here or you can play quicker here. In Alabama, you're gonna have to wait. You don't know if you're gonna play, but seeing them mix guys up, especially like freshmen starting, I'm sure that that helps persuade recruits to commit to Alabama, sign with Alabama. $7.99. Dominoes. Welcome to the watch party. What y'all like better? What's y'all favorite pizza place? Domino's commercial just came on. Got Papa John's. Well, I know in other places they have like legit pizza. I think Domino's, Papa John's Pizza Hut. That's like the fast food type of pizza. I know in New York, Chicago, they got the legit pizza restaurants. I never had any of them. But what's y'all favorite pizza place? We got a couple. We got some too here, but not like it's not like you know. Yeah, yeah, because New York, <laughs> yeah, Chicago yeah, style. Yeah, people don't eat Alabama pizza. <laughs> we got some good pizza places though, but it's only good to us. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We haven't had better. I don't think. Dang, she got out of bed like that. Mama says we have pizza, <laughs> frozen pizzas. Hey, DiGiorno used to be good. <laughs> <laughs> we had the Giorno pizza one time. It, it legit said tastes we had like pizza at home. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. I remember those days. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got pizza at home. <laughs> I want the the real pizza. We got pizza at home. Oh uh, yeah, eat it. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, that, that cracked me up. Um, <laughs> silly on four six two. Yeah, I remember those days. But yeah, yeah, you're right. The Giorno, the Giorno is a solid. At home oven pizza. I think it is. Probably the best. Uh, probably at home oven yeah, I pizza. I haven't had um any of them. I don't know if no new ones out that's better. Yeah, but yeah, the journal's pretty solid. The yeah, journal <laughs> tastes like a like a yeah, legit yeah. pizza place. Yeah, y'all can put y'all comments um in the um Utah Utah I can't come up with it, but yeah, y'all can put y'all pizza destination in the um comments. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's. What you like, John? Like that, you don't eat pizza like that. I used to. I mean, all of them, not none of them, good. No yeah, more. yeah, none of yeah, Nia. I promise, Pizza Hut used to be way better. Yeah, yeah, Pizza Hut's for Pizza Hut's still pretty solid. You gotta get a large though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, medium Domino's, La Pan pizzas, they good. Papa John's pretty good. It's sometime a bit. It's it's never <laughs> nothing special when you get it. It's just pizza. Yeah, I, w- I wasn't a big. F- I'm not a big fan of Domino's. Kind of, kind of had to. I guess I just ate it a lot in college because when you're a student at Alabama, you know, Domino's Bama, is basically Bama free. Yeah, Domino's is basically free. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Domino's is basically free, so tired. you just take advantage of it. But you get. I, I really like the what's the cookie brownie, chocolate chip cookie brownie. That was really good. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah but Jalen Murrow drops back. Ooh. He's gonna hit a Jaylen nice Murrow, pass nice to Kendrick pass. Law. Kendrick Law not going down. But first and 90, ten. I'm ninety-seven. Um, ninety-seven, eighty-seven. De- yeah, eighty-seven. That's um Danny Lewis. Oh, eighty-seven. Yeah, Danny Lewis. Um, the wide the oh, tight end out of um Louisiana, freshman tight end. Martin the Black was just in the game for a couple of snaps, but he's out the game now. First and ten for Alabama. That's who the LSU coach was dancing with. Yeah, eight minutes and twenty seconds. Jalen Murrow out the game. Ty Simpson is in the game Ty now. Simpson. Boy, got Ty Simpson. Ty Simpson is in the game. Simpson gonna hand out to Jamarion Miller, the freshman out of Tyler Legacy High School in Texas. And yeah, what if Jamarion Miller pass up Trey Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know, I think man. you go. I think you pack. I think he packed his bags that day. Like, okay, it's <laughs> over with now. <laughs> yeah, we got Ty Simpson. Might see some running from Ty. He's, yeah, a, he's yeah. a runner too. N- 
I don't think he's going to be passing it like that. Yeah, yeah. Ty Simpson at get, quarterback. Get, I think it's seven minutes. Like, no, I think I'm passing with Jamar, Jamar and Miller running the football. I think yeah. Ty Simpson can get an opportunity to run pass it here. It's third down. Yeah, yeah. That About might get third down and four three. I think he might pass it here. He can't mess up, though, with the pass. But they, 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 they yeah, will yeah. give him a chance. Yeah, Ty Simpson is solid, a tough type of quarterback. He really, really can make some exciting plays with his feet. Not really running the football because he doesn't have fantastic speed. Yeah, just but he just has scrambling. this sneaky quickness and elusiveness in his game. So he can just make like some crazy, almost Johnny Manziel type of plays in terms yeah, yeah. of getting away from defenders and delivering the football. Maybe we see some magic right here for Ty Simpson. That's what he was able to do at the high school football level. I think his um, running ability is a bit underrated. Third and three. Yeah, the see line. if he's going to pass it. If the old line messing up. See if he passes it. Drops back, he's going to pass it. Oh, a bad. Got <laughs> yeah. Throw it. Throw us behind. I thought I got tipped. Yeah, yes. I, it wasn't a great throw by Ty, but he was. He was talking, communicating with the offense. Um, like as if he was trying to change the protection or something. Look as if he was comfortable. I, I really like that. Yeah, I saw him do that in eight yeah. as well. He was real vocal, um, taking command, telling people where. To Darren go. Ham said he is a little Caesar. What are your thoughts? I forgot about little Caesar. Thought about little, little Caesar, Caesar. Give me heartburn, but little Caesar's has came up. I think they block Ooh. Utah State. Block the James Burner punt. Burnham, you can hit him. You can hit him if you block it. James now the, the shutout is in danger. The shutout is in danger after Utah State blocked Dang. the James Burner punt. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be difficult to do shutout now. Shutout now. He said, "I never got tackled before." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why they do him like that when he was already down, man? Trying to get the football. Oh, James Burner got the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He he. It, it was one. Of, it wasn't even a tilt punt. It was like a straight up block punt. But yeah, that may destroy Alabama's chances of getting the shutout. Really unfortunate Dang. that it had to come um, with a punt you off of a play block heavy, punt. Heavy. Uh, so the defense has to find a way to push Utah State back. If they push them back, find a way to push them back, I'd be really impressed. But it's gonna be difficult right now. We got a uh, Chase Bryant, the champ. Welcome to the chat. This is Marcos is fire. Yeah, we got Marcos Pizza. That's that's one of the I think that's supposed to be the best pizza here, Marcos Pizza. Marcos? Like Birmingham, yeah. Yeah, they got hungry howies too. I I had hungry yeah, howies yeah. one time. I had that before. It was solid. It wasn't bad. It wasn't it's, a bad pizza. It's in the same category, like Yeah. It's not right, a bad pizza, it's just like I have I have never really lived close to one. Said, High Power TV said when y'all come to Austin next week, try home sliced pizza, pent house pizza, Southern right? Fly pizza. All You'll right. definitely send those suggestions to um Steven going Steven on that, right? and um see who else is headed there from our team. Well, I have the guess we will be represented. The pint house pizza is legit. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni pizza is great. I heard of Giovanni, I think. Is that a, is I don't that, know if it's local to your area. I think we got Giovanni's here. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I've eaten a lot of Papa John's. Yeah, Papa John's is solid. Oh yeah, yeah we don't. Yeah, we don't, we don't have no. We don't, we don't have a Giovanni pizza here. Oh, okay. I don't think we it's have. Some, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have. I'm not sure. It's some name other than Marco's. But yeah, we. we Definitely not known for pizza or nothing like that. If you want pizza here, you just gonna order it, Domino Pizza Hut, and just get whatever. You're not paying attention to it for real. Now we got them chicken wings though. <laughs> chicken wings. That's what we got. Yeah, Nick Saban smiling with. They showing the same graphic again. Yeah. <laughs> they ran out of stuff. No, no. What? Did they have audio of him talking last time? No. Yeah, they literally, they literally have ran did. out of things to talk about in this broadcast. They struggling. I understand the struggle too. Like I've never seen them run the same graphic. Maybe they didn't know they was gonna run up the score that quick this time. Yeah. Night. Yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have blowout material. 24 shutouts since 07 the most in the fbs yes I, i'm not sure if the, 
I'm not sure how good Utah State's punt or kicker is either. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Sabar. What? How, how do you, how do you pronounce it? Sabaros. Sub. Oh, Sabaros. Sabaros in the mall. I don't know how to really pronounce it. That's how I always see. Yeah, yeah. It's in that zone was good though. Typically in the malls. Yeah, Utah State is oh, going. Oh, they stopped them from getting the first down. Yeah, but I I think they the I think they are. If Utah State has an average kicker, they're in field goal range. Sabaros was good. It, He's warming up. But you in know what they warming up in the oven when you get it in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the best pizza though was the pizza at school. The breakfast one? Nah, they they brought like it was around like oh five, six, seven. They they start selling pizza. Ooh, it was is. super good. Yeah, when I was in high school, we were like Dang. Mark Barron. Why are they showing this though? <laughs> They just typing in YouTube <laughs> clips now. Yeah, they just showed a random Mark Barron hit on um, I, yo, I think that was Jordan Rogers, the guy called oh, the game. Yeah. Got <laughs> Why hit. they do him like that? It sure was. It's a Giovanni in Silicaga. Silicaga. Papa Murphy, Papa Murphy stuffed pizza. Personal pizza, personal stuffed pizza. Okay. Oh, stop for chicken. Utah Man, State they, make Utah State is gonna get they they keep <laughs> yo, but Utah State is going to actually um go for it on fourth and one. Alabama says opportunity to get a shutout. Utah got State the got down. the first down. Utah State Utah State's kicker must really not be very good. Man, Wayne look, I had Wayne stop one time in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, I had Wayne stop one time. Wayne I wasn't impressed. Trash. I wasn't trash. impressed. But Every other place it says real good. I don't know if it's yeah. just here. Yeah, I got it like I got like the first week of his like a couple of weeks after they open. I'm pretty sure the workers are yeah, trying yeah. to get adjusted. To but it. also we have good chicken. I don't know if other places has has as good of chicken we have. Yeah, it's like the pizza thing. Yeah. You gotta throw it. What kind of throw was that, man? Might be offensive that. pass interference. It's offensive pass interference. Looks like he flipped them. Yeah, I, really, I had the lemon pepper rings, which is yeah, I, do. I want to try because Rick Ross you know he always he's uh, I think I had Parmesan and lemon pepper, but yeah, the lemon pepper was so I don't know it was like a powerful lemon pepper. It was like yeah, so yeah. powerful. I'm like, wings are kings here. That joint's good. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I don't I don't know what's like mild sauce. Usually, it's like the typical mild sauce, but their mild sauce is something totally different. Yeah. Like a sweet, spicy type of sauce. Yeah, yeah those are the best wings I had, the that, Wings um, are Kings. Yeah, Wings are Kings go in. I don't know that's if a, got wings. They call it defensive bass interference? I think it's offensive. I haven't, they call it defensive? No, it's defensive. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah, yeah, that's something. Um, tripped and fell on him? Yeah, I, I missed the replay, but that's something I see someone finally a DB who turns his head around. Yeah, Eli Ricks does that consistently. That's why I was so excited to see him. Like, he is so technically sound in terms of getting his hands on the um, wide receiver off of the line of scrimmage with those long arms. Getting um into the wide receiver when he's running up the sideline in terms of running with wide receivers. And he can consistently get his head around. Something that's so important. He does it consistently. He's going to do it every time. I just saw a spider. Yeah, yeah, I saw a spider too. <laughs> I see it. See it. It, blend, it blends in with Man, we open the doors, so all kind of critters coming here. We're up back here in the woods. Yeah, Utah State, they don't want the field goal. They want to put a touchdown on the board. But 55-0, Alabama up on Utah State. Fourth quarter, three minutes, 38 seconds left and counting. Fourth and seven, Utah State is going for it on fourth and seven. Alabama going to stop here. They get the shutout. Going to fire a play. shot that to the end zone. High. Not catchable. That was a bad No throw. flat. They call a defensive pass interference on Brian wow. Branch. How's that pass? The ball is not catchable. I thought that was clean. Pete Golding is definitely not happy with that. 
It can't be pass interference if the ball is not catchable. No foul. You're uncatchable. Yes, that's what I was thinking. But can't call pass interference, ball uncatchable. The shutout is still intact. Alabama Jazz running this three minutes and 25 seconds out. Very impressive. P. Golden was really upset if there was a pass interference. But yeah, that ball was definitely not catchable. Well, Alabama takes Tri over. State blew their chance to get on the board. Um, they should have kicked it. Yeah, but this Alabama's defense, I can't like we can't go on a limb and just say this Alabama's defense is Alabama defense is the greatest ever playing Utah State. But it's showing promise. Yeah, it has a lot of potential. It could be what many people expect it to be, just based on what we've seen. Speaking of ring stop, yeah, that's um uh, something they roll out. They roll oh, out the you. chicken sandwich line. That might be good though. Yeah, they got a, the lemon pepper chicken sandwich. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't know if I ever thought about, I like, know. I want bread with this. That could be hit or miss. Yeah. It could be really good or really bad. Have y'all had them chicken sandwiches from Wingstop? I don't know. Like, flavors like lemon pepper, I'm not sure about. <laughs> but, yeah, Bama trying to go for this shutout. Yeah. Utah State had a chance. Inter entertaining game because it was the first game. Yeah. It wasn't the best game by any stretch of the imagination. It wasn't a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we just seen flashes of what this team possibly could be. I think that's the my biggest takeaway is that we seen flashes of the fact that this team could be really, really good. But we still need to see them against um tougher competition. Like I said, we got that post game show coming up. Mike McCoy and Justin Riley right after the game yeah we also have the press conferences heading our way nick saban's press conference of course also our players press conferences will be uploaded to yeah. our youtube channel try to get out as much content as possible will most likely be a little bit of a later night if you stay up you want all of that great content stay up after the game talk alabama football but a lot of content will be out tomorrow too throughout the weekend and on monday refresh it still a lot of more content just based on a lot of things that come into our youtube channel into our site yeah, a lot of content dropping. We got the game watch party. We got staff at the game looking at the game. Staff is going to be at the press conference. And you know, we're going to have a post game show. We're going to record a conference for you. Everything we're going to have provide everything. So we got air coverage in all areas. Yeah, and also talking about this Alabama team, like they, they've shown flashes, they can be really good. But outside Alabama, in terms of what we've seen so far on his first week, full weekend of college football, some other teams who still have stood out. Georgia looked really good to me. I saw him play um, earlier. Of course, Oregon. I don't think Oregon has a fantastic, just a championship contender team. But Georgia looks as if they're going to be great. Again, on the defense side of football, those guys fly around. Great secondary. A lot of great young players. Their offense looks very much improved. I wouldn't say that um, Stetson Ben is a Heisman Trophy candidate, but he's going to be a lot better than he was last season. So Georgia's going to be good again. Texas A&M didn't impress me. I didn't get a chance to watch the second half of their game because it was a weather delay. It was like a two. It was yeah, a I very long this. weather delay um, at halftime for Texas A&M. Nice run by Jamarion, Jamarion Miller. Jamarion Miller. Nice yardage on that. Yeah, so we're going to see um, what happens with those teams. Um, Texas and them, but like that quarterback, Haynes King, did not look consistently good in that first half that I watched. Throwing a lot of dangerous passes, throwing a couple of interceptions. Actually, just throwing a few interceptions so far um, since he's been a starter. So they have some things to figure out. But their defensive front is really, really good. I think that is expected from Texas and them every year, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's expected. Expected. Jamario Miller having Mario some Miller success. Got his feet, man. He's a old. An remember we did our reaction video. Remember, like he's an old school running back. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna bounce off a few tackles. Henderson trying to get in the game, get closer to the coaches as possible. Yo, let me let me get a couple of runs in here. Why he mad? Is is these the most flags we've seen tonight in his last stretch? Yeah, I think so. Yeah.
I wonder how I feel knowing you on camera at all times <laughs> at the game. <laughs> so yeah, I think it is for one crowd you used to. Yeah, I'm sure you yeah. used to. I guess it's a camera in your face. First Watching and 18. Ty Simpson snaps the football. And give it to Isaiah Bunn in space. Bunn gonna show off that speed in space. Ooh, Super Bun's speed, quick. that elite speed. Oh, he gone. He. Oh, he got caught. Another flag. See how he got loose right there? You gotta be quick to get. Yeah, to yeah, get, get that there. edge, just run them angles. Anybody else would have got yeah. tackled. It's a lot of flags. Jamario Miller gets the block in the back. They need. These are the most flat. Oh, run, I think Colin Emmanuel Henderson was in the game. Actually, I'm running back. Colin Emmanuel Henderson. Well, Henderson, I said wide receiver. What a block in the back here. Hold up. Yeah. Block in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Push. We got one minute 57 on our on our end. If yeah, this one is over, Alabama most likely get these shut up. Ty Simpson, that quarterback, most likely gonna hand it off to Jamario and Miller. Miller's gonna get to the outside. Flag, horse collar. Yeah, Ian Jackson, I see he's behind Pete Golden. He's not dressed out either. A lot of guys are not. Dressed up. Yeah, first down, Alabama. They really can run this one out. Jamari Miller with another carry. Was like gonna close this one out. Fifty-five seconds. Fifty-five to zero. This is a lot of um. I think a lot of people had this type of prediction, like fifty-four zip. I know I saw 54 zip, 55, 50, you know, around the 50 range. A lot of people gave uh, Utah like 7, 3, 10, but uh, they couldn't score. We do have the post game show coming up. The game is over. Yeah, I want takes the win 55 0. Biggest takeaway, basically, what I expected. Flashes of a really good team. I think we'll see a lot of more things answered next week. You guys can have a conversation with Mike McCoy and Justin Riley here shortly. And we can see what brings the table. See Alabama players catching up with Xavier Williams there, former Alabama wide receiver. I hope um, yeah. So, yeah, this game, I mean, pretty much what we expected. Um, The score prediction was what we expected. Great to see some of these young guys out there, the freshmen. Um, the freshmen really impressed me, the starting freshman. Kobe Prentice. I mean, his his name's going to be hot. Treshawn Holden um, did a lot. He did a lot more than I expected. But Steven said that's that was his standout prediction of standout receiver or number one receiver. You think it was Treshawn or Kobe? I think Trey's going to have more touchdowns. Nothing that, that, that equal amount of touchdowns. I think, I think it's an equal game across the board. It's hard to say who played better than who. Trey Sean Holden may have had the most complete game. 
I think Tristan Hall did the most complete game. He led the team in yards, looks like, and touch in at two touchdowns. Two Burton touchdowns. had two as well. So yeah, I think he was had the most complete game. Yeah, Bryce Young, 195 passing yards, 18 for 28, five touchdowns. Bryce Young also had 100 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown. Trey Sean holding five receptions, 70 yards, two touchdowns. So currently we are waiting on the signal for Justin Riley and Mike McCoy so we can switch it on over. Definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. 55-0. We got the press conference happening. Justin has to set up for the press conference so we can get it out to you all. And we got this post game show coming up shortly here. But shout out to you all. Thank y'all for tuning in. D Pickett said yeah, four, 56 to zero. I mean, that's close. Can't you win money by being close? I'm not sure. I never bet it on the game. Did anyone predict this exact score? Don't be lying, though. I think I saw 55 0 somewhere. Yeah, waiting on uh, Justin Riley. Justin Smith is getting his press conference ready so we can tune in, see what Saban is talking about, get that uploaded to you as soon as that press conference is over. The players are speaking as well. Bryce Young is getting interviewed right now on TV. What audio dropped out for a second? Yeah, this was a game just to see. Just to see what's up. Can't really judge stuff yet. Um, they did perform well, though. So, that's a good thing. But, you know, there's higher competition out there, of course. So, got to see if they're consistent with what they did tonight. I think we got more information on different types of starting positions. Bryce Young was out there having fun, chilling, smiling. So like I said, we're waiting on that word from uh, Justin Riley, Mike McCoy, and we'll switch it on over. Going to stay on until we get that word. Once again, appreciate everyone for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're a Bama football fan. We got everything Bama football. We got coverage during the game coverage, after the game coverage, before the game coverage. We do have a pregame show, watch party, postgame show. We got shows all next week talking about the game, breaking stuff down, and talking about the next game, what's coming up next. We got a podcast tomorrow. Bama Elite is coming on tomorrow as well. So content coming out. Also got Monday, Steven Show. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. Texas. Texas next, right? Hey. USC beat Rice 66-14. HB98. Appreciate you joining the chat. Said uh Bama over Texas 35-17. So we got some predictions already for Texas. Look at some of these game sets. Uh, 
Are you showing the same stats? Yes, we are waiting. If you haven't already, make sure you like like this show. And definitely got to tell Steven about those um, restaurant uh, recommendations in Texas. So our own Steven Smith will be going to Texas to be at that game. That game will be pretty interesting. Morning game, but you know. Pretty interesting. Got Saban speaking in a Saban speaking in a second. All right, we do have the post game show coming up, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Thank you for joining the watch party. As always, appreciate you. Thank you for your support. We have the post game show coming up, so watch out for that notification. And we'll see y'all on the next game. John Ivory, producer, Justin Smith, scouter, and recruiting analyst. Appreciate y'all. Peace out in the chat. Y'all be safe. Stay tuned.